What is going on guys? Welcome to Crits and Grins Tomb of Annihilation. I am not actually sure what episode it is. Hi guys, I'm alive. That's was alive? Yeah, I'm you not. killed him, jerk. No, I just almost died. <laughs> he just, you Times. know, he got away from the fire, you know. And uh, characters are alive, we're all good, no one's died yet. Supposedly. So, <clears throat> winning. Um, but how's everybody been? It's been two weeks? Three two weeks. weeks. Two, three, three, two. Something like that. We did TwitchCon. Mondo is gone. This is the third week, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, well, let's start with Mondo. It's episode you... six. Six! That's the one. I knew it. Number of the devil. Fire. <laughs> yeah. Ragnarok. Episode six. Cool. Well, how you Very been, my convenient. dude? Man, I've, I've been real sick. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I went to that wedding. I came back. We played some uh, D and D, and I, I may have been complaining then that like my throat hurt and I wasn't feeling great. And then I've been sick like pretty much ever fucking since. Yeah, and that then, makes sense. Um, yeah, and then uh, then I went to Florida uh, last weekend mm -hmm. for my uh, for my daughter's mother's fortieth uh, birthday. Big surprise party. Uh, the party was not a surprise, but the <laughs> fact that I was there, yeah, uh, was a huge surprise. As so, same as some of the other people showed up, so it was really, it was really good, man. And I was walking around in the jungles of Florida, and I was like, man, this place is like fucking Charles. <laughs> I'm not a fan of Florida, man. I got a lot of people I really like in Florida, but I don't really care for the state. So Did you bring your uh, watching your bug, it your bug, Joe? bug repellent? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course I did. I had my bug repellent. I had my rain catcher. <laughs> <laughs> rain catcher. Yeah, I was, I was, I was all set, man. Good, thank God. I and was... then I came back like twice as sick, so oh. I, I stayed in bed for like three days straight. And I seemed to be that seemed to have done the trick. That seems to have turned the tide. Yeah, a little. Yeah. yeah. Except yeah. for that, your voice disagrees with you. Man, my voice disagrees with everybody. <laughs> That's what I do. I'm the great disagreer. Okay. Well, let me change, let me change the overlay. Yeah. Disagreement, man. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, disagreement, man. That's a great name. <clears throat> no, it. it's wrong. Dibs, dibs on it. <laughs> nice, disagreement, nice man. This is a great band name. Um, <laughs> yeah, hell take, yeah, it is. <laughs> taking you before you can take it, Mondo. There you go. Uh, I finally got one. Well, I just got you're starting to feel guys. better. So, thank you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Alex, how you been, my dude? What's uh, been pretty good. Uh, when I'm not playing Red Dead, because it's the <laughs> game ever, I am watching Castle uh, through his streams, or I'm like sleeping, because I've also been sick, and I had this really weird dream that I went to Florida, and it kind of <laughs> felt like Chult. <laughs> that, that would so suck. Fun. That dream would be, uh, that dream would be yeah, weird. Yeah, and then I woke up feeling all sweaty, and like I should have worn bug repellent. Yeah, just feeling all sweaty. Your sheets look like the uh, paper Ew. they wrap deli meat in. You know, <laughs> I know all about that. Ew. What, what the mean? fuck? What yeah. have you been through? Who hurt you, wrong, bitch? Bitch was a deli meat. If, you, if, you, if you've ever, if you've ever had a fever you? and you've sweat, that's just. Oh, I know what it, I know what it feels like. I don't feel like a wrap deli sandwich. Then what's wrong with? I'm saying your sheets <laughs> look like the paper they wrap deli. Yeah, my sheets oh, don't I, look like paper. Like, you said it was what kind of sheets yeah. do you use? <laughs> Anyways, yes, go play Red Dead. Yeah, I've heard it's good. Yeah. I will wait for it to come out online. You know, at that at that party I went to, um, we had one of those sports screens, um, you know, like hooked up to the TV so that we could watch like you know the Blazers or whatever. But instead, like I said, it and we um, everyone was just watching like Castle's uh, streams during the party. Nice Castle, you have made it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying my the big leagues. There's like a whole bunch of like old people in Florida who are like, mm, like, like, I, nice I, job, man. like I know who that is. <laughs> like you Bro, know Castle. <laughs> I have, I have a pretty funny story for that, I, I like how that's who's in Florida too. Like that's who you hung out with. <laughs> Old people. <laughs> yeah, oh. I really did. <laughs> it was someone's fortieth birthday, Mitch. Come on. Forty is not well, yeah. that old. No, it's not. And it's but you know, she has a lot of like uh, you know, all of her aunts and uncles and stuff, you know. Right. It's like that's where they all live. So they were all there. Yeah. And they're all like mad cool. And they like Castle. Yeah, that's good. I appreciate that. It's weird, but yeah. it's good. Um, it is it was weird. Not many people do it, so I appreciate everyone that does. Yeah, I'm sorry to interrupt. Please. <laughs> Paul, Paul, how you been, my dude? I've been good. Um, I went to TwitchCon, came back, chilled. Yep. Uh, I did not get sick. Um, that's good. That's, that's really good. 
yeah so i'm very grateful for that i had a good time uh, but i had to go to like I, I so recently i opened up my business my llc and everything so yeah. i had to get that all signed up yep. so that's been kind of a pain in the ass and then um, what we're doing is we're actually opening an office all, out of state mm -hmm. yeah and, uh, the state is you know kind of, you know surprising is florida so Weird. i have to fly over the weekend to go sign some papers that's um just, you know what's really weird. funny though so I, these plane rides I, I hate airplane rides right Okay. So during the airplane rides, I had to take a call for the business. So I had to pay extra for the Wi-Fi stuff. And then the call didn't go through. So I was just like stuck with like paid Wi-Fi for nothing. So I just ended up watching Castle stream. Yeah. It was really, really was good he, and enjoyable. What was he streaming at the time? He was doing IRL. He was actually IRLing his like something in the airport. I don't fucking know. I wasn't really paying attention. I was just more mesmerized by in, who he was. Yeah. In all fairness. So, well, it's good. You get to play Nobody pays awesome. attention to me when I stream. Well, I paid attention to you. You were great. When you streamed oh. that I was watching on the airplane towards <laughs> Florida, that's, so you know that's a struggle and a half. Though I understand. We went to Florida, signed the papers, got all that stuff. So now I I own a tiny one by one foot office building <laughs> in Florida for my business. And then, one by one foot. Yeah, and then I flew back uh, the next day, and then yeah, that's pretty much it. They're really not really that eventful. I have stuff. In my background now. Yeah, you do. You got Discord so, going on back there. Yeah, I ordered them from Florida. It came really quickly. <laughs> it was great. So pure uh, swamp wood back there. That's what that, my that swamp is, wood. Yeah, that's what they get out of Florida, man. No, dude, that's like that you, that you prime, pristine no. Florida two by four. They literally get wood in Florida out of the swamp. It's like that's a right, big thing. Good. Just sounds no, it's like, like sunken and it. sunken logs. Haven't you guys ever? What's that show called on History Channel? Castle will know. What? Castle, you know things. It's uh, no, what, what, what no. show? Like, what do you mean? Are you talking about like? It's about logging on the history swamp channel. I'll loggers? look it up. No, no, not swamp loggers. It would be the. Uh... I can't. The one. Are you talking about the one that they're like up in the Alpines, fucking logging shit? Axemen. That's what it's called. Axemen. And one oh, of them. Yeah, I know that goes, show. Goes into uh, this crazy guy who's in the swamps, man, and he gets all the wood underneath. Man, <sighs> so hard to talk with uneducated people. Damn. <laughs> yeah, we we know <laughs> our favorite acts. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, Bacon. How do you think we feel? Like yeah, it's a must Damn. Off. I had a good question. Hey, uh, do you own an LLC? I don't think so. Just shut up. That's fair. Okay, that's, that's fair. it. I'm done. <laughs> Who's your favorite axeman? Dude, I honestly don't know any of their names. I just know where it's they're like at. Everybody says Wolverine, but like, no. <laughs> uh, I like, I like, uh, I like the guy that cuts trees. <laughs> I like that would be Wolverine. Um, Oh, <laughs> I like him. No, no, no. Axeman. I'm trying to think of like a witty, like lumberjack pun for an X Men's name, and the only one that even makes sense is still Wolverine. Yeah. I mean, there's, <laughs> there's, there's Sawclops. Uh, <laughs> so uh, 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 that was yeah. very upsetting. Yeah. Uh, ch chance, how you been? What you been up to? Uh, just mostly some schoolwork. Um, I didn't have the opportunity to go to Florida like everybody else did, uh, yep. but I did have to do some research for it for, again, schoolwork that's taken up all my time. Otherwise, oh, I would have just gone. Yeah. It seemed like everyone was there. Could have just done a, a live D and D with everyone. I was only there for like a day though. So. Oh yeah, let's do it. <laughs> in the one by one new office. Yeah, the, one, <laughs> one, that's, one, that's one a by great one office. office. All right. <laughs> it, it stores his filing cabinet. That's about it. Yeah. Not even. <laughs> It's a half of his smiling cabinet. It's actually just a file. <laughs> there's no door. There, there's no door because there's no one by one door. <laughs> it's a, it's a sliding door. It's just a hole in the building. <laughs> I own this hole. It's a cubby. Nobody touch That's it. what it is. It's a cubby that holds a file. No, oh, yeah. Sorry. How's how's school going? Uh, so far so good. Uh, just a little bit overwhelming at times, but yeah. I, as, I hear that's how school is. is for everybody. Yeah, as school is. Um, I, I'm not special. Yes, you are. <laughs> or maybe you are because you can't get through the schoolwork. Who knows? It's, it's getting done. It, it, it is. Except for last week. But that that's <laughs> we don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> last week. We don't talk about last week. We, we don't talk about last week. What happens in last week stays in last week. Mm -hmm. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. I don't remember anything I did last week. I don't you're on the right track yesterday. Bro. <laughs> I really don't though. That's the saddest <laughs> part. Um Well that's good, man. I'm glad school's going well. Yeah, that's that's about all I, I do anymore. School and D D. Yep. Uh Castle. How was TwitchCon, my dude? First one. Okay, TwitchCon. 
fantastic. I had an absolute blast. I've met a couple of very, very nice people who skyrocketed me from 30 whatever followers I was to the 57 I'm at now. I Boom! Was on. Boom. Oh, yeah. Affiliate. Boom. Great. Except for the fact that I get like 2.6 viewers per hey. whatever it is. You're almost so, at 0.6. <laughs> <laughs> I sat there for a second and I'm like, where the fuck is 0. 0.66? There's a couple. Oh, there's a couple people at that, work that probably that qualify as 0. 0.6. That was that was me. That 0. 0.6. Because <laughs> like, I mean, I put your stream on because I'm supportive, but really, I'm watching Netflix on my other monitor. <laughs> That's fair. But uh, no, it's hopefully hopefully it goes up. I've I went from like having like legitimately like two one or two viewers to. Last week when I was streaming consistently, I had about seven viewers per stream. So that's hopefully, awesome. Yeah, that hopefully was one of the we'll, days where uh, Paul was on the plane. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> showing everybody. Paul and then the whole family of people just watching me, in Florida. Dude, I uh, got you. Yeah, man, I appreciate <laughs> that. And, uh, I I'm also fun fact uh, doing a charity. Oh, nice. So, so are you doing supply drop? What are you doing? Uh, stack up. Stack up. That's right. That's what it's called. It does supply drops, but uh, it's it's really hard to explain. It's for veterans and active duty people to uh, just kind of use gaming as a tool to kind of help people out through their time and from their service with the military. So, you know, it's kind of a thing that I can get behind. Sure, yeah. Veterans Day. Sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Veterans Day. So if you want to go over to my Twitch, go down to my panels and look up Stack Up and throw some dollars at it. And while you're there, hit that follow button. Yeah, I go for it. <laughs> Follow button's free. It only takes two seconds. Don't be stingy. Donation's not, but I would really appreciate it. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, oh, so I know what you feel like whenever I show up to your uh, charity stream now, Bacon, mm -hmm. and I drop a fucking dono bomb. Mm -hmm. You scare and me. You're just like, and it's just well, no, no, well, I don't have an alert mm -hmm. because it's not connected to my actual Twitch. It's mm -hmm. to a separate thing. But yeah. like, I'm sitting there. So I've been mainly streaming Hunt Showdown. Yep. If anyone's seen that, Un played that unlike the other four people here, I probably am the only person who ha who has tuned into your stream. And has I've been into a stream. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> Let's see <laughs> shit. Fuck you. <laughs> I I appreciate wow. yeah. I did watch it. I watched you play Hunter Showdown. Yeah, I'm. I am not good at battle royale games, but when it's ten people trying to hunt a bounty, apparently I'm just a fucking savage because I'm doing. Be really good at Red Dead, then. Mm, maybe uh, I'm waiting to save up a little money before I make another game purchase. Yeah, Dude, this Hunt cool. Showdown is a scary ass game. Not even, bro. The only thing that <laughs> the only thing that trips me out in that game is the fucking okay. spider because it's so fucking fast. All right. It's stupid. Like, I hate right. it. Right, Basically, sure. just called me a bitch, but whatever. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm saying I'm saying there are points to it that are scary, but it's like when no, you I play, understand. Don't worry when about you it. played enough, it's not that. Much. I don't think you're a bitch, Paul. <laughs> Thank you. Paul's just over here. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I know. No, actually, no. You tried to snoop on our conversation of uh, Mitchell eating people Body. last session, so you are a yeah. bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I knew where that was going. Hey, no, well, I wasn't oh, eating people. Right, right. right. Okay, I could I, was. So uh, <laughs> I would never. I would never. Haiku's a he's a bitch. I would never. Wow. Listen. Oh. Okay. Ouch. I'm glad that I'm glad that I mean no, not IQ, me. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. Who am I? <laughs> this is what two weeks away from D D does to us guys. So Who am I? as no, much as Mondo like called Revan Ruben. <laughs> like, oh, I'm yeah, he called he called me Ruben instead of Revan. Uh, as much as I would love to continue just talking about how cool I am and how you should watch my stream, I can't even stream right now because I'm not at home. Fun fact. So uh, why don't we go ahead and give it back to the DM so he can get us into the game? But, but yeah, is, are, isn't there someone else we still need to? Ask? No, he's not relevant. It's fine. Yeah, we don't need to hear from Mitchell. I, haven't I told you, I don't remember. I went to a Blazer game. That's about it. That was fun. That was a fun See, stuff. Not relevant. Yeah, on a mandate. I did. I went on a mandate. It was fun. It was good times. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kissed. Blazer game was Skin awesome. Uh, look, I plead the fifth, okay? I don't kiss and tell. <laughs> right. That's cool. Yeah, you don't got to kiss and tell. I was just curious. Yeah. I'm just assuming. No. The, my, I live vicariously my, through my players, you know? The person I'm with, though, does constantly slam my door whenever I take him places, and I'm about to I'm about to beat him up. Go so beat him it's up. It's a brand new car, and he's fucking slamming the door. Go beat up his oh, car. Use your fists. Yeah. Wait, so that's how you piss Mitch off? 
Dude, slamming doors. it definitely makes me mad when you slam my car door, for sure. Why you gotta slam it? Just shut the fucking door. Oh, I think it meant, like, your house door. Oh. He takes that door you. and he just, wham! Just like, come on! Well, I mean, he's a slammer! To... <laughs> like, he slams the door! I'm like, why are you so mad? <laughs> because fuck you! But, uh, no, Blazer game was fun. I'm trying to think of other things. I finished Daredevil Season 3. It was awesome. It was really good, yeah. Um, uh, what else? That's, you watch that Sabrina? I haven't watched any Sabrina, but I did oh. hear that the Satanic Cult is suing them for using a uh, uh, like statue that was similar to no Baph the Baphomet, Baphomet is yeah. uh, like their god, and they're uh, suing them because it's too similar. Yeah, the oh statue is gosh. too similar to it. But the, the the weird part is, is like if you what kind of copyright do you have over that? Like because there are several mm -hmm. movies and TV shows where they have like a cross with jesus on it they probably won't sue him though because they realize it's fucking stupid and it's a movie no what they're suing is for because uh people see baphomet and they <laughs> attribute it to with a negative stuff. sabrina yeah uh, instead of the cult sure okay like, I guess... oh it's that thing from sabrina not oh it's that thing from satanic worshipers yeah they about to lose that though which sounds better <laughs> i think they sued him for like 50 million they're gonna lose that shit uh, Greg dragon's right that shit's public domain they can't sue you know, it's 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 all good though because it's like it's you know, a show good. Oh, it's the show really is good. fantastic. I heard the show's really, really Sage good. is watching yeah. it now. Yeah, nice. Um, what else? I think that's it. It's what I, I watch when I'm anything. when I have Castle on, like you know, I'm mean, <laughs> I'm watching Sabrina. I actually yeah. have Castle on my third monitor. I'm watching. I'm, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it real with you. I will use people for views at this point. <laughs> <laughs> And here's uh, here sounds like every every uh never mind. You know never mind. I'm not gonna make that no. Nope. nope. <laughs> when when I was still below fifty when I was still below fifty followers, I was just like, I just wanna be entertaining, I just wanna be good to my community and I wanna build it up and like I just wanna be the it's, kind of community I wouldn't want to be a part of. I got to fifty and I could and ego just, just gets it, to you. Well Fame's no it's hard. No, my viewerships like stuck like two point three and it's slowly climbing. <laughs> really fucking slow and i'm like come on come on come on come on come on, come on. it was at that point castle realized what <laughs> it meant to be a real content <laughs> yeah. creator on Twitch. yeah <laughs> now, now he's no, no longer even streaming like, content he's around. just streaming the you video don't. of him like waiting for it to get higher you don't seem <laughs> to understand that's content how long I pay i've for. been around bacon's channel i remember the struggle to get to partner yeah it was rough <laughs> and i got partnered off of esports so it's totally different but um <laughs> i'm a fraud really yeah <laughs> yeah he got partnered for paladin esports oh my god <laughs> really i didn't know that yeah <laughs> and now he's got a partner D D channel <laughs> boom that's the, that's the, i mean that's the thing about i know a friend who they made a guild wars to uh esports team right yeah and one of their friends one of one of their members was not a part of the the uh, Guild Wars too, but they wanted partnership as well. Yeah. So what actually, they did is yeah. they brought them on as a team manager. Yep. And put them on the team and made them, and that got them partnership. <laughs> yeah. Esports is it's a totally different zone in Twitch. Yeah. Do, so. Like it's not about viewerships or numbers; it's about status for esports and what Bro, resources you'll be. Uh, the moment the moment Hunt becomes eSport, I'm jumping affiliate and going straight. Do it! Yeah, do, it. do it. I'm going straight to the eSport scene. I don't give a fuck. Anyway, I'm going to get them to realize that I, I mean, technically, D&D &D is now in eSports, too, so. Really? They, they've been looking at doing, like, eSports stuff for D&D. &D. Yeah. What well, the How? way, so I went at TwitchCon. How would you be competitive? So I went, um, if you we have time for this. No, we don't. We can talk about it later. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I want to play, man. It's been sorry. Three. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, let's get it going, Mondo. Or Alex, maybe, to recap? Yeah, let's oh, let's like get a I'm recap. To remember that? Yeah. Go. Uh, I don't even know where you guys are. <laughs> I don't remember I anything. Tell me. There were just blue arrows on the map. What happened here? Oh, they they didn't need to be there anymore, man. That was from like we were still on the way to Fort uh, Bellarian. Did we level oh, up? Did we ever leave the fort? No. We didn't no, we're, I, I remember, think we're still at the fort. Yeah. I remember I, rocket yeah. jumping a wall. I remember yep, turning okay, into a giant go. spider. Oh, ready for the music when you are. <sighs> go. Oh yeah, that's right. We got. I got my. Oh. Yeah, that's why I can't remember. I was waiting for the music, and then I was gonna remember. Go. Were oh, you there it is. For a bribe? Uh, yes, a bribe. Bro. Totally. Uh, so <laughs> we anyways, uh, we were at the fort. It was a wonderful time. Um, 
remember the two sessions before that castle tried to buy stuff didn't work out so well so we ended we started the session right after that um we saw some creepy looking adventurers with a what was it a halfling or a gnome that was staring at mitchell all weird like, <coughs> gnome. Yeah. It was a gnome it was a gnome yeah. yeah yeah they're all small to me anyways uh getting Sounds weird, about right. getting weird vibes on uh mitchell's character so uh uh Aiku had a very nice interaction with a gnome guy uh learned that awkward people are watching him just like middle school all over again <laughs> uh, being on flashbacks <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and then uh, we were uh invited by the castle steward to a special dinner uh so we ended up formulating a plan in which ecos would turn into a spider <laughs> vibe everywhere and run off um so we I did that plan, uh, got into the castle, started eating. Then uh, Ecos had to go to the bathroom because he's old and uh, en enacted the plan. Um, it was going pretty uh, swimmingly. He spiderwebbed some people, ran over some buildings, did some fearsome battle cries, even sold us. We were like, oh man, there's a giant spider. We should attack it. Uh, went outside and we're like, oh no, the spider got away. Oh well. But there was something else stirring. It was at that time that we figured out there was a giant army of zombies coming up from the south and they started attacking us and we're like oh god we gotta fight and so uh we fought a crowd of zombies um also learned that they were being controlled by these weird tribal priestesses people i uh, didn't get a chance to interrogate one but we killed a couple um then we ended the session with uh uh Aiku dragging one of the bodies into a building and go into town for some food and uh zeskiel threatening ecos who was investigating <laughs> happened i it ate it um yeah <coughs> i'm meeting someone or i ate someone the you character are, sheet yeah. looks different Man, yeah, the character sheets, by the way, have been um, updated a bit. I think it's only a physical, like I think it's only the way things look when I. Yeah, the numbers right. are bigger, so if you were if you couldn't see them before, you can yeah. see them now. Ooh. <laughs> Unless you're like me, and I still can't really see them. No. <laughs> oh no, I can see them. Uh, yeah, I don't think they updated any entire, of the sheet mechanics. Uh, I think it's just all physical, so. <laughs> Last night, nothing of, was uh, broken. Just my like making entire core cool. page is like fucked up. All of the coins show up as colors. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say that too. I'm confused yeah, by it though. Cool. Like, is the order of it correct? I'm not the only one whose entire brackets is, is just completely fucked. Am I? Brackets. Like the page. Yeah, it's uh, fucked up right now. I'm gonna try copper, silver, electric. Try reloading. Or yeah, that's good, man. The, the order of the coins, it's all good. Also, oh, copper, silver, what's that shiny Electrum. one? In Electrum. Yeah. A super expensive coin that no one ever finds ever. No, that's platinum. Electrum's not that expensive. Oh, is it the opposite that I'm thinking of? So yeah, platinum's a... the expensive coin. There's I, I never find Electrum either way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. fuck, I only have 17 gold, shit. Mm. Yeah, quite often really in my it, campaigns i make electrum the uh that's the current monetary kind of common monetary currency of the underdark Mondo, this is why we have the talk in the beginning so you're good that's all folks yeah anyway um, words. we're going somewhere now i think we're leaving i don't know Are we, i think we uh, we were just uh talking after the battle, and mm -hmm. Aiku was leaving. Just quit bringing it up, okay? Yeah, I, actually, I wouldn't mind knowing. So Aiku, what, what, so? Oh yeah, I got pushed away. What was that? What was that like? Man? Like, how did that go down? How did it feel? So good. Um, yeah. I think. So good. Yeah, I think that uh, just an Aiku stop process is that's the way to 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 remove it, or to become more snake like is to. Um, is eat people uh, because yeah. that's what his uh, superiors would do. Um, and I don't think that he necessarily like eats people whole because it's just not possible. Uh, I mm -hmm. think he probably cuts like pieces off with his dagger or whatever. And sure, yeah, goes, yeah, you couldn't do it whole. Yeah, 
So, um, but yeah, like he doesn't sit in there and like devour everything, but he'd do what he can to with the time that he has. Um, right. But yeah, def, um, I think maybe as he's doing it too, he would have some thought about the warning he was given um, from the gnome as well as the uh, potential sign that there was a snake that was ripped open from eating uh, somebody whole. So I think maybe he takes his time uh, doing it. So um, out of maybe fear or ca just caution. Freak. That's that's really rude. <laughs> He's sensitive about these. I take it back. I'm sorry. Uh, he can't hear us. <laughs> yeah. So so you're not eating the whole thing. You know, you, you couldn't. Mm -mm. I mean, like a, it's a human body or a human body. It's not going to fit. So what are you doing with the rest of it? I left over. So as, as yeah, I think away. I think he uh, would probably do it in a way that um, people wouldn't be aware of it off the bat. So. Like, he would choose to do it in places that clothes would cover it. That he could cover it easily. Um, but yeah, I would just leave it in there. Okay. Can you uh, right. do us a favor, Mondo, and put us on that uh, fort map? Oh, yeah, sure. Maybe. We'll see. They're so far, they're so far apart. The, uh, the whole thing with the maps doesn't really scroll well. But I got it spaced out good enough. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and there's that there's music again. That music. Oh yeah. That's oh, yeah. that. That's that. Tell us how it tasted music. <laughs> okay. Um. Interesting genre. I yeah. That's that's ska music, by the way. Um. <laughs> um. The one thing that I do want to do, if I can, is if I can look over it because I have a sneaking suspicion that this is a uh, scorpion. Uh, a, a, a part of that scorpion gang that attacked us in the main city of Port uh, Naranzaru. Is there a way that I can check the body over while I'm inside? Um. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Of course you can. Yeah. There's an investigation. I mean, you're 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 eating it. I mean, <laughs> I would I couldn't. T no, you can't check the body. So, you never um, know. I, I totally. There's an investigation. Oh, I yeah. totally did go back and watch the last like five minutes of. Our last episode to figure out what Revan was doing. Three weeks, and I get the crit with the nineteen. Yeah, man, she's got like she's got nothing on her really. Okay. Um, you know, she's got that leather armor. Mm -hmm. Um, she's got a scimitar. She's got a sling. She's got like a whole bunch of little sling bullets in that thing. Mm -hmm. She's also got a necklace that looks like a um like a scorpion. Yeah, obviously. Cool. It um it seems to be carved out of some sort of like obsidian. Uh, that's like marbled with uh, some sort of white stone. Hmm. Kind of nice. It is nice. Do I want to take it? Nope. I'm gonna leave it on her. I want it, but I don't. Teacher, um, teacher. <laughs> yep. Okay. Cool. That's all I want to do inside. All right. Isn't stealing wrong, teacher? I'm sorry. That was the first thing I thought. I'm literally eating her. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's why it'd be funny if stealing is where we cross the line. <laughs> uh, yeah. So like outside, it's like you know people are like gathering up uh, zombie bodies and stuff, and they're. Uh... Oh right, there were zombies. Oh yeah, uh -huh. yeah. I remember gathering them up, and they're like taking them outside so that they can like burn them all. And Revan, Revan wanted to talk to the. Uh... What what's it called? The priest before they all got thrown away and set on fire if possible so, yeah well i mean you ask, have to do it while they're dragging them away well yeah but yeah. i just wanted him to take like one well, before they got set on fire and burned away forever i wanted to ask the priest if he could check the uh the triangular shape on the forehead and see if there was anything he knew about them but yeah i forgot about that boom good what's point. up good point good point <laughs> he's like oh yeah man the triangle on the forehead if that, Man, that's like, a thing. If that was like a cult, that was. Oh yeah, no, it is. I just gotta, I just gotta find the thing that tells me exactly what it is, so I can tell them what, to, uh, what to tell you. I didn't think anyone so, would ask so, about that today. So you have to find the thing. He's like, yeah. He's like, I'm trying to rack my brain, trying to remember the whole thing. See. 
and if you were to go back and watch the uh, last episode, which I didn't have to do because I have an amazing memory, but if you did, <laughs> you would realize that I said at some point that the first thing I was going to do was this. So, yeah, it was like three weeks ago, man. Yeah, no, but and my it amazing part of the re- wasn't part of the recap. So, yeah, I know you're right. <laughs> yeah, I'm... God damn it, Alex. <laughs> I'm <up> for that. <laughs> I'll pay attention to what you guys do. <laughs> That's what you want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you about that in a minute. What are the rest of you doing? That's what my parents say to us. Oh. <laughs> That's um, what are you doing? On the way out, if I noticed that they're like taking them to like stack the bodies, um, mm-hmm. I would ask Z- Zeskiel um, to help me carry the body to the burning pile. Oh, that's right, you weak as fuck. Yeah, dude, I can't carry him. I'm of sixth strength. I need some help. I, I stare at him, and in Draconic, I said, "How was it?" It will suffice for now. It was how long? Hmm? How long has it been since it's, you last? Uh, had... a long time. That's why I've been so anxious. Gotcha. But I can't carry the body by myself, and I don't <laughs> necessarily want them to know what happened. Can you help me? Yep. 16 strength. Boom! Yeah, no worries. Cool. We carry that body just that gonna, I... Just going to pull her by the foot. Sure, sure. Yeah, it works. Nice. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> and here Easy. I am. I'm just like, nye, nye, looking up a blue triangle. <laughs> But he's like, yeah, the blue triangle was the uh, it was the mark of a cult that once uh, tried to take over Chult. Mm-hmm. The whole jam. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's like, isn't that crazy? Is that his so, most indeed like, crazy? Hey, yeah, someone would even try to do that. Yeah, this is wild. It's crazy, right? Burns- you can burn the bodies now. I don't. If that's all you have to say, I don't care. Yeah, no, I've got more. I just can't find it. Oh, that's that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's a little scatter shocked at us uh, <laughs> all the zombies. That makes sense. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'd be a little shocked too. You know, you'd think they'd make some of these handouts like a little easier to find. Yeah, I was looking at uh, uh, Tomb of Annihilation does have Alex's a lot. fur, um, Waterdeep, yeah. and it was a little tough to kind of find a couple things, but we found it eventually. <laughs> and uh, if you're really not ready for it. <clears throat> so the cult tried to take over Cholt a while ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah, quite 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 some time. It was quite some time ago. I'm telling you, man, it was a while back. You know, there were like things happening and stuff and How just long? last week. <laughs> yeah. Um I don't know if I could I could wouldn't really be there, right? I'm gonna go look at the area that the zombies actually came from, because you said the gate was open. Mm-hmm. Right? I'm gonna go see if there was any uh, more sentry or anything. I mean, if if the gate's open, they just walked on through. Well, like I mean, like if the guards killed the guards outside or some shit like that. Oh uh, yeah, I'll go inspect that. I'd be with you. Yeah, that gate's not really, um, it doesn't appear to have been like heavily guarded or anything. It's just open. Yeah. It's just like an open gate right now. Um, that's it. I mean, you don't see any sort of signs of like uh, somebody <clears throat> coming in and killing anybody or, or busting shit up. Is anyone around us? Meaning yeah, this is the way they're dragging out them bodies. Okay. Yeah, they're dragging them out like out out that side, that back gate there. Yeah. Okay. Um. 
Azaka anywhere near us? It's night, right? It's like nighttime. It is. She's helping them drag bodies out. So, I mean, like, you could, like, um, you could hail her down. Yeah, I think. Go ahead. I'm going to help drag bodies out as well. I think. Go ahead, Chance. Uh, I was going to say, Burian's probably just going to be asking around, like, what are you guys doing with these? What What is the purpose? I think, Barian, I think they're going to burn them. Yeah, we're going to burn them. What, what, what purpose would that serve? Well, first of all, we don't want them rotting up the fort. You know, that's not good. You know, they carry disease and such. So we don't want them, uh, we don't want them, you know, stinking up the fort. And uh, what's the point of burying them? It's it's more manpower than we would want to spend, you know, digging graves for for these for these dead things here. I see. Yeah, this is easier. You just take them out, you know, set them in a big pile, pour some oil on them. You light that up, stink up the jungle. Probably keep the dinosaurs away for a day or so. Very interesting. I never mm. would have thought of that. Well, are you on one of them folk that like you feel that they should be buried? If you want, you could take like a finger or a head or something and bury it on your own. If that's if that's your you know that's what your people do or something. Oh well, my! My people are long gone. It's uh, it is no concern of mine how you do it. I was just curious as why. Oh yeah, man. That's that's pretty much why. Well, that is very informative. Thank you. You're welcome. Have you ever seen anything like this? Has anything like this attacked the fort before? No, this there's going to be some hell to pay. We've never we've never been like infiltrated like this. I mean, sometimes like, you know, they come outside the wall. Sometimes there'll be quite a few of them. You know, we'll go out and take care of it if they seem like their uh intentions are to to, you know, mess with us, but generally yeah, no, no one's ever, zombies never come in here before. I don't even know how they got in past them gates, man. Is that is, is a question? Yeah, it is a question. Mm. <clears throat> we may not be around to help answer it. I believe we're leaving in the morning. Yeah, that's probably... That's probably best. Don't uh, leave tonight. Dude, going around the jungle at night isn't something uh, I think anyone would want to do. It's fair. Um, yeah. Is is a uh, is that leader lady that we were supposed to be eating dinner with like visible? Or is she anywhere in sight? Oh yeah, she's like she's like giving people uh she's giving people what do you call it and stuff and um instructions. Yeah. She's like telling people she's like, "Yeah, hey, you you guys get those bodies out of here. Take care of that guy who's got that bite. We might need to cut his arm off if it's infected." Um I'm going to walk over to that guy. I was going to walk over to uh her. Mhm. Mm I want to know how this whole infected arm person and Zeskio thing plays out more, though. <laughs> can I can I walk up to this guy? Yeah, yeah. So, I can expend five hit points of my pool of healing to cure the target of one disease or neutralize one poison and affecting it. Okay. 15, can I spend five of it to heal him? Sure. Cool. I'm going to say, what's wrong, buddy? He's like, oh, one of those things bit me. It feels a lot better, though. It's kind of tingling. Look, the blood is like, it's like someone's playing the film in reverse and the blood's going back into the wound. It, it's healed. What the, fu what the fuck is a film? You don't know what a film is? <laughs> I've never heard like, out. It's, it's like when there's like a puddle and it, it's like the, the air has been still and there hasn't been a lot of rain and nobody stepped in it. Sometimes you get like a film of like, you know, dirt and grit and stuff. It's like a film over the, uh, you know. How does that go backwards? Wait, sir. It depends which way the, uh, depends which way the wind's blowing. 
Well played, well played indeed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab my finger, put all five points of healing into that finger, and just poke right inside of the wound, and just boop. <laughs> Please tell me he made that sound. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I appreciate that. I would hate for them to have cut my arm off. It would have been pretty bad for me. Anybody else? Almost sounded like a thread. Yeah, I mean, there were a couple of other people who have been, like, you know, hurt and stuff. Like, you know, I mean, they, they were fighting a whole bunch of things while you guys were fighting things. Yeah. Tings. Yeah, tings. I, I just heard her say that one guy who's infected. So that's all I care about. Was that one guy? That I heard. I'm your master now, bitch. <laughs> I knew there was some <laughs> point where things were going to take a weird turn because he was not going to do something out of the kindness of his heart. He doesn't have one of those. <laughs> Rude. Cold-blooded. <laughs> yeah, literally, he's a snake. Um, yeah, I'm going to go... Uh, Revan's going to go and talk to uh, Salitas, Salita Lady. Yeah, wow. before you do that, the priest like comes running up to you and he's just like, hey! He's like, I'm sorry, I was so distracted before. Yeah. You know, <laughs> zombies and all that, and you're asking me questions about triangles and shit. Those the triangles were on the zombie, but I can understand the confusion. But what is it that you know? Well, I was more worried about like healing people so they didn't get their like arms and legs cut off. My bad, man. That's fair. It's, it's a shame as right. it's my ally was the one that did that, isn't it? Yeah. He's like, you know, like it was like over a century ago, uh, there was a warlord. Um Man, stupid names. Like, why can't everyone's name in like D and D be like just Joseph? Joe? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really hope I really hope somebody else writes this down because I don't have any of my notebooks because they're in my bear. Rosny. 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 I, I guess that's um, that's how I'm pronouncing it. Rosny. Rosny. Two words. R a s n s i. R a s n s i. I suppose it could be C with a silent n. I don't know, but anyway. Yeah, he had raised an undead army to conquer the city of Mesro. Um, it consisted mainly of uh, dead Chultons who were raised as zombies and cannibals that he had transformed into ghouls. Uh, they were defeated and driven back into the jungle. And, um, man, they, they spread through the jungle like a blight. And they're, they're like, they're all over the place, man. The jungle's dangerous. You got all sorts... And some of these ones with the blue triangles, I mean, sometimes they put them on each other because they're confused. But some of these may be the original. Um, Cult members. Yeah. That's well, dead Chultons. Yeah, I mean, like they—they they weren't really cult members. He would just like he would just raise the dead like everywhere he went. Like you know, he would uh, you know, he he would come in and he'd kill like an entire village on his way to Mesro. And everybody would be dead except for like a few heroes. And then they'd be like, man, let's get that guy. And he would just lift his hands and everybody would just get up. Hmm. I mean, that may be, that just may be rumor. It may be something I saw on television once. <laughs> tell, tell, uh, who? Yeah, television. It's when we sit around the campfire at night. And we and all tell each other stories. Songs? No, we, we tell each other stories, like, you know, and we, we tell them so well that it's like you can kind of visualize what the others are saying. We call it television. So you, you don't tell do this where you're a, from? Wait, you, you tell of a vision? Does that make I, sense? If you had a vision, you could tell it, but no, we tell each other stories so that others can visualize yeah, it. Tell a, like vision. a vision? Yeah. I, I understand it now, so that makes sense. Yeah. You don't have television where you come from? Uh, like your people didn't sit around the fire in television? Uh, my people with my family who were morbidly murdered in front of me when I was a child. And you were just like by yourself since then, like you didn't get more more people? Yes, basically. Until I worked at a bar and I met the socially awkward one there. A lot of bars do television. Well, I was more worried about talking to the pretty ladies. Mm. I'm going to go talk to the lady now. <laughs> Thank you. You have a great day. Thank you for the information. I truly appreciate it. You're welcome. I found it. 
I'm very happy that you did. Coolsies. <laughs> so who did you want to go talk to? I wanted to, I wanted to speak to the, uh, the leader of the fortress. Okay, yeah. Yeah, she's still, like, barking orders and stuff, but yeah, you can easily, like, approach her. What was her name? Anybody? Guess you should have taken notes. I did take notes. Guess where those are? They're in my <laughs> barracks room where they're at the base of a hill that's on fire. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I gotta say, he's got it. He's got a point. <laughs> <It's>... <sighs> yeah. Because <laughs> I was gonna say the same thing. I was like, maybe you should pay more attention and take notes, Castle. <laughs> but yeah, no. Okay, you. I have a this fucking time. notebook that has information <laughs> about pointless shit from day one of this goddamn game. And you didn't bring it. Nothing is no, pointless. It will pay off. Because because I'm more worried about getting out of a fucking emergency situation with my life. One of the guys runs up and he's like, Commander Porter. He's like, uh... Oh, that was very convenient. I was about to be we like... We found, uh, <laughs> we, we found a grappling hook up on the, one of the walls near the gates. It seems that they climbed in. We also found the bodies of one of the guards who was up on the wall stuffed uh, behind one of the uh, latrines. Um, hold on a second. Just just let me look at Onyx's uh, keen smell. Uh, can I, just real quick before I actually talk to her, I want to, uh, Rebin's going to lean over and whisper to uh, Onyx, excuse me, see if you can catch the scent from that area. And if, if possible, memorize it so that we can try and track it later and have onyx go in and like inspect that spot on the wall that they're talking about so that i can go and talk to the lady and i'm gonna i'm gonna yell at uh echoes because echoes is good with non-scaly animals I, I, uh, excuse me echoes echoes is by the way just kind of trying to help move the bodies but just getting it i'm way. yelling at you echoes <laughs> We, we got man. this. We got this, old man. Thank you. We, we got old this. Man. Yeah. Oh, 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 yes. I, I scurry on over. I trip, but I get up and I scurry on. I need you <laughs> to accompany Onyx. Just hold on to the ropes that's attached to his neck so that he doesn't get bothered. He's going to see if he can find his scent. So that you we want can me to take your cat? I want you to take my cat to the, to the wall so he can see if he can find the scent of the people who broke in. Unleashed zombie hell on us. I look at the cat. Okay. Meow. Meow. I hold my hand out, waiting for like a leash or whatever. I hand him the rope. I take it and then I kind of just stand there, waiting and then, for my cat to do something. And I nod at Onyx, and Onyx is gonna start. Okay, and I'll just follow. Forcefully along. dragging you. Yeah, but it's You're like. Not you're not going fast enough for it. It's movement speed is 40 feet. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm trying to keep up, but Echoes is kind of old and frail, so he's kind of tripping up, falling around. So at one point, he lets go of the leash, but then chases after and then picks it back up and a fright. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, it just repeats that cycle over and over again. So he's going to see, like, we can we can do a roll or whatever to see if he gets a, a scent later, but I want to I wanna talk to this Commander Porter. Okay, yeah. See, Demondo, I'm learning though. I know they won't let my panther walk around by himself. <laughs> um, oh, this cat is terrifying. <laughs> but just learn to deal with it. Uh, walk up. Uh, nice kitty. <laughs> Meow. Uh, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> commands, commands a porter. Yes. Uh, I am with the, uh, the group of adventures that you were speaking to before the entire incident with... Yes, my memory is not that short, sir. Well, I'm... I feel that only one of us is not that memorable. Anywho... You're was... right, and she turns around and walks, starts walking away. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How are you so going to this... insult her? You want to talk to her? Are you going to insult her? I didn't insult her. I, I would, if you think about it, I would have insulted us. I said we're not that memorable. Uh, she took it the wrong way. <laughs> I would have taken I'm going it to... she took it, just saying. Yeah. That's because you're sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm normal. I'm going to... You can follow my... her. She's not I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to follow her. Like, yeah. I was just wondering if 
is there if there's anything we could do, and if I could speak to you on some, a sort of a uh, business matter of sorts. We're a little busy, but go. I mean, everyone's doing what they can be doing. Your friends are already helping. I mean, what what sort of business do you have? What what are your policies to having uh, members of your what was it, the Order of the Fire Hand or Fire Fist or something like that? The Flaming Fist. The She's Flaming. Like, oh, She's the like, no, I didn't say that. Notes. I didn't somewhere. Say I didn't say that. I didn't say that. <laughs> Revan, was, oh, was Revan would remember because <laughs> for Revan, it's only been a couple of seconds for Castle. I'm, I'm just I'm just teasing. It's the flaming fist. I just, if anyone watches uh, season two of Critical Role, they'll know that reference is my character memorizes all this shit. <laughs> I I have a poor memory. Uh, well, I was I was wondering if, if there was any chance that you were open to having a new member to the Flaming Fists, uh, this adventuring group. Um, yeah, I believe, uh, I believe we, we talked about that at dinner. But we never really got to finish the conversation due to a spider? spider right, spider. but I mean, you know, I, I was asking, so obviously I'm interested in, in new members. <laughs> but I mean, my question is for the uh, business part is what, uh, what are your expectations if one of us was to join? Would we be withheld here? Would we have to go through some sort of training? Or would I be able to just form a sort of contract with you, continue this adventure until my quest, until the goal was finished, and then return and report as duty requires? Yeah, pretty much like, uh, you know. You serve the flaming fist. You you perform certain services. You, you get a reward for them. And the, I'm assuming there's some sort of symbols to say you are a part of the flaming fist that I would carry around. There is. <laughs> you right. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> My buddy just walked out of his room for the first time. In... <laughs> first time since Nam. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. The world oh. is so weird. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's just freaking out because there's a light source out here. He's not used to that. Okay. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, no, I was so. What? How would this work? Would I just sign a contract with you? Would I. <laughs> What 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 would you need me to do to solidify this? Yeah, I'll need you to sign your name in the book. This is a book. That sounds very book. important. Yeah. Uh, very well. So come see me in the morning. We'll you'll sign the book. What about your friends? Are they are they looking to join? Uh, I don't think they are. I I don't know anything about it. If they are, well, come see me in the morning. I'll have you. I'll have you sign the book. We'll give you the. We'll give you the symbol. Can you guess what it is? Uh, is it a flaming fist? You got it. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we are, we are good. <laughs> I got. It. I got. It. <laughs> and maybe. Uh, you know, since you're planning on joining up, maybe you can uh, help uh, drag some of those uh, other bodies out. Uh, very well, and I'll get to to that. And then if uh, if Onyx needs to make a roll of some sort to see if he can pick up a scent. <clears throat> um, there, there's a lot of like different scents there. So I mean, he's picked up a bunch. Is there any way he can try and specify, like, the humans that tried to kill us? Is that possible? Maybe. You you can go ahead and give me a roll for him. You can give me a perception roll for him. And that and, is... And it's it, keen. It'd be wisdom, right? Because And then he has keen smell. The panther has an advantage on wisdom perception checks that rely on smell. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then an insight check. But that's not for the smell. Okay. It's an advantage roll, right? 
Mm-hmm. Good job. I'm so proud of you, Onyx. And then Insight for yeah. Onyx? Yeah. Uh, what's Insight based off of again? Wisdom 2. Just Wisdom? Yeah, I believe so. All right. 11? <clears throat> yeah, so he's picked up some cents. How many cents? Like five cents, six cents? He pounds his paw on the ground like seven times. Nice. No, <laughs> no he doesn't do one... that. I don't know. He's oh. got like cents. Yeah, he's got some cents. <laughs> Is it like. I'm, I'm done with the puns. So he picks up the trail. No, the... he picks up some cents. God damn it. Yeah. What is a cat? Do you smell something? He just he like because of the insight he can't infer which one is the scent that we're aiming for here. Maybe. So that's a no. <laughs> that's not a no. Uh, I'm a DM that's, too. That's, that's a no. <laughs> no. It's not. It's not a no. I never trust but, Mondo. I've been a DM since 1982. Believe me, it's not a no. Boom. It's not a yes. It's not a no. It's a, you're gonna find <laughs> out. Can, I'm not gonna tell you now. You know. Was that on Bacon's? All I heard was somebody scream boo. That was me. <laughs> did, you just, <laughs> did you just wet yourself, Bacon? Like, like when people take people to school, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, so Aiku, uh, the cat seems to have, like, you know, picked up some sense over there, and it's like, uh, it just kind of sits down and looks at you. Echoes? Like, Echoes, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. No problem. My bad. Oh, my heart was pounding a little bit there. <laughs> it's, been, it's been three weeks. I gotta so, remember. Did you say the cat's looking at me? Yeah, like, you know, like, the cat's just, just like, like go I'm done. Yeah. you know, I'm done. And the cat um, seems to like you, you know, you've got, like, this natural affinity with animals. It's not looking at you like it's hungry. It's just like, you know, well, I've done what I have been tasked to do, and now I shall sit until you tell me to do otherwise. Uh, I was just gonna just look oh, at the cat and just be like... Yeah. Uh... What? What? what do you want? We're dragging bodies by the wall. It like uh, it kind of like like hits the uh, the rope that's around its neck, like you know, kind of like nuzzles it like a bit. I can't let you go. It just starts walking. What am I supposed? To... I... I keep moving. Why did you stop moving? <laughs> I kind of like try to gently push the cat. <laughs> I'm not sure how loud. Rebin can whistle, but as soon as he's done with uh, the commander and he is now helping move bodies, he's just gonna whistle as loud as he can, try and signal Onyx. Okay. I'm assuming is Onyx gonna start running towards... No. No, it doesn't start running. It, it starts pulling walk. you a little harder. You know, Onyx doesn't want to hurt the old man. Like, you know, it knows you're holding its rope. It doesn't want to give you a rope burn. doesn't want to pull the arm <laughs> out of the socket. Onyx Echoes feels Onyx an odd... Kitty. Echoes is overwhelmed with this odd sensation of understanding and is happy and just walks. Okay. This is the only person in the party that will truly love you for who you are, Echoes. Yeah, that's why he's fucking happy. <laughs> All right, what are the rest of you doing now? I'm walking a fucking cat. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> I'm helping with bodies waiting for my fucking cat. Um, people are watching you walk that cat, and they're just like, "Damn, look at that! That guy's walking that cat." And I'm just like, "Hell yeah, I'm walking this damn cat!" Until you get to me. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't say it as that cool. I say it very awkwardly and cringily. Hell yeah, I'm walking this fucking cat. There you go. <laughs> I think uh, after helping for a little bit, I could just retire back to the uh, where we've been sleeping and wait, ready to go for the next day. Ready to leave, help uh, yeah. Azaka. We finished one kind of quest, I believe. We haven't talked to uh, Roka, but he jo- yeah. he returned to us during the confusion, so I assume he got what he needed. And I don't really care, right? We made a distraction. I, I believe he... I mean, I could be wrong, but I do believe he told someone he got, he what, got he what he needed. needed. I think so, yeah. Regardless, I think like we created the distraction. It was up to him to get what he needed. Yeah, um, and he's got a charter of exploration for you. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, just ready to go to sleep so we can now, we finish one quest, help Azaka get done with hers. Barian is still keeping an eye out for the uh, for the cultist that was, that had escaped. 
uh, he and his raven, after asking weird questions to the uh, to the people, is going to go back mm. and keep watch. Cool. Yeah, Zaka joins you up on the uh, on the wall. I like your bird. It is a very nice bird. Can see many things. It's a very nice city you have here. A good outpost in the wilderness. Oh, it's not mine. I don't, you know. I try not to even come here too often. I mean, I've got friends here among the guards, uh, some of the native Chultons who didn't come down from Baldur's Gate, but... Ah. Well, it's a nice city nonetheless. Thank you for guiding us. You're welcome. Thank you for helping me. Of course. Now, if only we didn't let these cultists escape. The undead should remain that way. Let's hope. We are going to face quite a few more of them, likely, uh, in the jungles on our way to uh, Firefinger and wherever else we're headed. Mm. All the better. My queen will be pleased if we dispose of these things. Cool. <laughs> and Barian will go back to quietly watching and keeping an eye out with his bird. All right. I'm just moving bodies until there's no more bodies to move and then going back to the temple. Yeah, that that um that woman who had been um who had helped her help to help you guys during the fight. The half orc uh yeah. priest. Steward of the keep. No, no, no. She's just like she's just some chick who was hanging out there. Oh. Much like uh much you know, much like you guys, she came in and um She's like, you and your friends seem pretty, uh, pretty handy in a fight. That's good. You're a lot more skilled than most of the other people I've, uh, I've come across here. Where are you from? I am originally from some, someplace else. Uh, so are we. <laughs> yeah, that's where I'm from, man. I'm from, I'm from places. We were brought here. That's weird. <laughs> Um, fucking notes. I don't need to know. So just as long as she's not from Cholt. Yeah, she's not. She's not from Cholt. Uh, but she she did have stuff she wanted to tell you, and it was it would have really uh, helped if it was like gotcha. right up in front of me here. Especially since I was like, she's going to approach you and talk to you. <laughs> and she's like, Duh. I, I just uh, maybe maybe you're just not fully over the sickness yet. Your mind's not like a hundred percent. I'll give you that. It, it definitely, it definitely is not. Work's yeah. also been a little nuts. So yeah, it's been kind of, it's been crazy. Their gears are grinding, just not at the same speed. Yeah. I get that. It's like Mitchell every day. <laughs> Mitchell every day. I like that. That's a good name. That's, that'd be a great band. Yeah. It wouldn't, I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You're right. It wouldn't put any effort in. <laughs> no effort. It would just sit there. As soon as it was time to go, just leave. Yeah. Right, right on spot. Moccasins. Right on time. Off at seven. See ya. These are some good <laughs> song names too. Off at seven. <laughs> hmm. Ooh, Moccasins. We're off at yeah, she's seven. like, yeah. So she's like the um. No, I'm from uh, I'm from Waterdeep originally. Um, I was sent to Chelp by the Order of the Gauntlet. Um, with a a bunch of dispatches from my superiors to command all, Commander Brightbone at Camp Vengeance. Ooh. Um, I was told that I could simply just buy a horse in the city, uh, Port Nianzaro, and ride to the camp. But yeah, it's not. That's clearly not possible. How far is this Camp Vengeance? Um, it's it's quite a bit of ways. It's uh, where is it? It's up the the river. Shoshin Star. Here, uh, if you want to follow me, we can go talk to my guide. Yeah, I'd be. It'd be really. I'm hoping that someone could help me get there. I it's, mean, if if it's on the way to our destination, we could always use another pair of hands. Looking for my my ruler. I'm gonna go looking for Azaka. Okay. With a lady in tow. Mm -hmm. 
just admiring each other's combat prowess, I guess, until as small talk until we. <laughs> yeah. Small okay. talk. Yeah, small talk. You guys find Azaka. She's coming down off the wall from where she was talking with Varian. Azaka. Yes. Uh, this lady has a question for you. Yeah, so she tells her pretty much what she told you about, like, you know, she's got, like, some dispatches and stuff. Um, you know, so she's looking to, to join anyone who might be happen to head that way. Azaka explains, we're not quite headed that way, but technically I work for these guys, and I mean, it is south into the jungles. Um, and there's more talk of, like, you know, I can, you know, hook you guys up with some supplies and stuff at the camp. Um, once I get there to Camp Vengeance, et cetera. And she's like, yeah, you know, well, that's really up to these guys. I mean, that sounds like a good deal, but it's up to, uh, it's up to these folks. And then she turns to you, as Aka does, and she's like, uh, you did mention uh, you were headed towards Mabala, correct? Did we? One of the places you wanted to go? I don't think so. We were just, we literally just did this quest and then uh, we're going to head off towards uh, uh, wherever Zaka needed to go. Who, didn't you guys like, um, man, I should, probably should have done like a castle and watched the previous episodes. There was that crazy guy who talked to you before he passed out and he gave you guys like a, he told oh, yeah. you a thing about Mabala and stuff. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think we were interested in what he had to say, but I don't know if we ever said, yeah, that's where we're going. I think we want to try and get what we promised Azaka that we would help her with. But Yeah, because what he had said to you guys was, speak to the wise guardian of Orolunga, west of Mabala. She can direct you to that which you seek. So yeah, so Azaka's like, I mean, if I don't remember specifically if you guys thought that was going to be someplace you were going to go. I don't remember. I don't think so. Maybe, yeah. Uh, does anybody else remember? I think you're muted, Paul. I don't remember Jack Hello? shit. Yep, you're good. <laughs> All right, so we're going to have to watch some of the previous episodes. No, no, I remember no, the guy fell on me. And yeah, I, he did. I told him, <laughs> but we didn't, we didn't really take much from that. Okay. And we just went on to do the others, like get the charger and then do whatever we have to do for that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so she, so Azaka tells you it's pretty much like up to you whether or not you want to, uh, you know, help this woman. Are you okay with wasting a little bit more time to help this woman, or does your quest need to be finished as soon as possible? I've been I've been looking for my mask for for quite some time. It's um, you're probably the only group that's uh, that's agreed to help me that I think might actually have a chance of actually helping me. So. I mean, I've got I've got a little bit of time to kill. I say we head for Camp Vengeance, and as party leader, I think we should head for Camp Vengeance because there's nobody else around me, so I can say stuff like that. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> I think I need. How, to did, how does that sound, Azaka? That works for me. Cool. And then I'm going to turn to the lady and says, "Looks like you have a group." Thank you. Thank you so much, she says, and she gives you a little bow. Uh, we're staying at the temple until the morning, I guess, if you want to meet us at the gates in the morning. we Will do. I didn't catch your name again. What was it? I have one of those. <laughs> 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 Where's her name? It's it, I, If I went back to the other page and her name's on her token. I'm on a different map altogether at the moment. Uh, her name is um, something like a uh, half orc lady. Nailed it. Undril Silver Tusk. Oh yeah, I remember that name. Yeah. Undril. Undril. Let's say it's Undril. I like I'm that gonna Undril. meekly hold out my hand. She Thanks. grasps it firmly. Firmly yeah. grasp it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> cool. And I'm just gonna like slink away. Yes, slink away like a snake back to okay. the temple. Cool. 
And then uh, whoever's at the temple, I'll have a discussion with when I get there. Okay. Aiku, were you already back at the temple? I am back at the temple. Mm -hmm. I'm not about carrying people. <laughs> also because I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Just too I, I, weak. Forgot, I forgot you weren't that strong. Yeah, I'm weak as shit. Uh, but yeah, that's yes. where I'm at. Okay, yeah, I mean, eventually all the bodies are outside. They, they set the fire. I mean, it stinks. I mean, you guys can smell it even like in the temple. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, the wind's not blowing it into the thing, but I mean, it's still, you know, it still stinks. And um, I mean, uh, eventually all that's all that's done with. Oh. Well, friend, uh, good to see you did a lot for the relief effort. Yeah, I can't. Uh, carrying dead bodies is not my strong suit. Fair, just eating them. I say in draconic. Yeah, it's that that. Yeah, I kind of like stutter. <laughs> don't really know what to say. Um, anything new? Uh, switching back to common. Uh, we have another quest. Perfect. Um, remember the half orc lady? Yeah, she was the one yes. that helped us. Uh, she's been looking for a group to take her to Camp Vengeance. Well, not exactly on the way to Azaka's quest. Uh, they're going to hook us up. She's going to hook us up when we get there. So uh, as group leader, I decided it was the best interest for us to go. By she's going to give us gear, things? She just said she was going to hook us up. Might be wise to figure out exactly what that means, especially if it's out of the way. What did Azaka say? Azaka's all up for it. Her quest must not be that pressing then. So. Uh, it's not that it's like in a completely different direction. It's just slightly out of the way. Not in a straight line. What do you think of this? Uh, what the priest said about the the man who was raising people from the dead. Oh, I wasn't a part of that conversation. You weren't there? No. Um Okay. Well, then I will reword the question. Um earlier Reben had talked to the priest and he, he talked about um a man named Roz Rosny? Rosny? Rosny um a long time ago, apparently, he was raising people in Schultz from the dead. Try to take over the whole fucking island. It, he might be a main part of why Schultz is having this problem. Definitely. Don't know where he is. They said that the rest of the island is riddled with these creatures. Is there anybody else in the temple with us? That's up to everybody else. I mean, once once uh, once the bodies were done being dragged out, I mean that's all done. So it depends where everybody else. Is. Oh, Revan is going back to the. Or Revan is taking Onyx from Echoes, no matter how much of a best friend he thinks he just made, and he's going back to the uh, temple to get to get Onyx by a fire and just kind of take care of him. I guess I will just follow behind. I mean, I don't, I don't. Yeah, Echo, so just follow behind. More Making importantly, is there anybody other than our group in the temple? Rosnacy. Yeah, I found a pronunciation. Rosnacy. Rosnacy. Nacy. Rosnacy. Cool. Um, is is there any uh, is there anyone else in the temple with us? Like any priests or worshippers or anything like that? Or yeah, there there are people praying. Like you know, they're like, man, thanks for protecting me from the zombies. I didn't really didn't want to die today. You know, they're they're going Damn. about their business. They're not really paying attention. 
directly to like you guys. I mean, they're, they're so I'm going to lower my voice and in Draconic mm -hmm. say the more exploration of Chults we can get, the better chance we will find others like us. Like us in this, you mean looking for I'm gonna our answers? I'm going to point to my eyes. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. Uh, to yourself, they, they are a greater asset if we can be welcomed into their community. Great. We would have a better chance with them than without them. Especially if they own a good portion of the jungle. And it seems as though um, Schultz is, uh, has many people willing to go into the jungle and has things that need to be done deep within the, the forest. So we should be able to uh, amass quite a crew. Switching back to Common, uh, Cap Camp Vengeance will be our destination. She's going to meet us in the morning. Well... We should sleep then. Right. I am tired. <laughs> At this moment, Ooh. we see old man stumbling in. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot. I'm, I'm behind Revan as he walks towards the temple. I mean, we've been doing a lot of stuff, so. Okay. Then, yes, I, I walk and stumble, and I'm like, I am tired. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Being a spider was extremely tiring. Oh, <laughs> Well, I mean, that spider fight was <laughs> extremely tiring. <clears throat> Do you really say that? Yeah. Okay. All right. God damn it. Looking <laughs> at him. <sighs> Old people. <laughs> All right. I'm going to distance myself from you. You stay over there in that corner. Okay. <laughs> I mean, the fighter fight, the spider fight was time to take all of my armor off and hit the Z's. Okay. Echoes just kind of falls wherever he is and just falls asleep. Cool. Baby, you know, walk in a long time later after he's uh, convinced that the people are not coming back. Right. Yeah, they don't seem to have been coming back. They were foiled. Well, she was foiled. Hmm. Rebin, same. You just going to you're going to sack out? Yes, I'm just going to take care of uh, Onyx for the night and then go to bed. <laughs> okay. That's crazy. That was cool. So, is this a long rest, or are we? I would yeah, assume it's going to be a long race. Yep. Yes. It's going to be a long Sweet race. deal. I did not want to go anywhere without shape shifting, just saying. <clears throat> yeah. Ooh, long rest, lose my temporary hit points, but gain my spells back. Okay. Didn't take any damage, so. Oh, and you know, those temp yeah. hit points don't stack. Do they not? They do not. So when you, if, if you've got like, Five temp hit points, like you kill someone, you take like, you know, you roll your dice, you get like five temp hit points. Um, when you kill the next person, you do the same thing, you roll the hit points, and you can either choose to keep what you've got or replace them with the new ones. Okay. So it's like if you still got five and you rolled like four, you would just hold on to those five. If you rolled higher, you could say like, yeah, well, I'm just going to bump up my temp hit points like seven or whatever it happened, the higher number happened to be. Okay. And that's all. So <clears throat> they don't stack in terms of Dark One's Blessing or Fiendish Figure. Right. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So the night passes uneventfully. At some point, it does start to rain. Um, you wake up and there, there's a light rain. It's not too bad. Oh, can I go put my rain catcher out outside? Yeah, sure. Same. Uh, I'm old and forgetful, so I don't do that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but you guys like set up your rain catchers. A few of the rain other like, people who have, 
Brain catcher. I'm gonna die out of dehydration. <laughs> a few of the other um, wanderers and like you know adventurers who are in like town who have set up like little tents or whatever. You know they've uh, they've also set up their rain catchers. You know, can like sneak that. around and poke holes in all of them. <laughs> <laughs> what a dick! <laughs> Survival of the fittest. What do you mean? It doesn't affect your rain catcher at all. <laughs> <laughs> my rain catcher has to be the strongest looking rain catcher <laughs> i mean i'm right next to my rain catcher with onyx so it's not I'm yours not, i'm worried about i'm not yeah that's what i'm saying i'm not worried about mine either <laughs> i'm not worried about mine either i'm i think i feel like i feel like i'm like right under the doorway of the church just kind of mm -hmm. sitting there waiting with onyx and we're just watching him run around the different rain catchers I'm not actually doing that. That's a joke. Oh, damn it. That would have been even better, bro. <laughs> petting, petting Onyx. Yeah. Uh, so since we're the only two awake, uh, and I'm going to say I grabbed just my sword, not my armor, when I went mm -hmm. to go set up my rain catcher, because you, know, sure. you never know when a giant spider is going to come around and fuck your day up. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to, like, just stare at the blade in an awkward angle where it also looks like I'm staring at Rebin and his kitty cat. Okay. After uh, after I get enough then, water in my rain catcher, I'm going to just down my water skin and fill it, by the way. So. Uh, I'm going to say, uh, it seems like you know me from somewhere. If it appears that they wouldn't, it's I feel like if you wanted to talk to me about something important, you would have, though, so it doesn't seem that important. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe it was important a long time ago, and I've just grown out of it. So uh, go down. Of course. That's why you uh, try to catch me in back alleys and all this fun stuff because you've forgotten about it. I didn't say forgot. I said grew out. There's a difference, my friend. And I, I go back inside and I start putting my armor on so that I can go talk to the commander. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not about to just not have my stuff with me when I do. I don't know how long this conversation is going to be. Uh, but as I, as I walk back out, I'm assuming I'll walk past Eskiel. Uh, I'm going to like walked like shoulder 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 brush but like before i pass him, I'm gonna pat him on the back and i'll be like maybe you'll remember too and then i'll just walk away with onyx as he's walking away i'm gonna say i don't really remember filth my statement still stands <laughs> maybe maybe you'll remember too all right oh look at that doggo i didn't know mondo had a cute dog oh yeah, yeah. How, what he I talks mean, about I, his dog every I, fucking I, like minute. every single I said, time. <laughs> I should she gets under dog. the desk. Oh, you didn't know she was cute. Yeah, she's very cute. She she is. Why don't you say shit about my dog? <laughs> oh, you have a dog? He doesn't care Fuck about you. filth. Was that, was that the, the lie? <laughs> oh, it's terrible. <laughs> oh, I'm not playing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God. I oh, mean, fuck. It's <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're beautiful, Gracie. I love you. <laughs> Oh, Aww. what a she's so cute. Decent dog. Oh, now she's cute. Fuck both of you. Oh, <laughs> uh, I never, I never said she was. Uh -huh. Bacon and Alex okay, are the uh, one giving you shit. I'm she's sorry. like a little version of my dog. Yeah, so I was about to say actually. Yeah, you're, you're see, she looks more white. Racist. That's racist. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many of us have horrible minds. I love it. Oh. Uh, but yeah, yeah, the, the brown over the one eye and stuff and. Do you got that brown spot on the very top of your head? Come here. Get out from under the desk. <laughs> yes. Come here. Let me there, see your head. That's where they Yeah, mean. she does. She's got a little brown spot on top of her head, too. Is that your sister or brother? Aww. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Long removed cousin. She really, I, I think it's, I really do think it's light and shadows that she's like, so when I'm in here with the light on, like she just, she thinks there's something going on back there. <laughs> or I've got a ghost under the desk. It's one or the other. I believe either or. Last night I knocked on the desk like during um, Antonine 
and she uh she flipped Freak out and out. ran to the door yeah, yeah. Like, hey, who's here? i was like no no it's okay it's me and she was just like no there's no way it's you i i know that i know that sound <laughs> <laughs> i mastered this household <laughs> but yeah the rest of you we is sleep. it time for us to get is everyone getting up or you sleep i didn't really tell anybody where i was going i just Oh, well, I go still sleep then until he wakes up. Someone wakes okay. him up because he's old and frail. True, old and frail. That woman comes looking for Rebin, though. The not commander? Uh, not Commander Porter. The um, her second in command. Oh. Where's her second in command? I what think I would have. I would have. I feel like I would have ran into her on my way out. Who? The second in command lady, because I'm walking towards where we were taken to last time. Oh, I thought this was still yeah. nighttime. I thought you were supposed to go in the morning. I was supposed to go in the morning. Is it not morning? Yeah, it's morning. Oh. Yeah, he said it was morning and there's a light rain. Gotcha. Yeah, Gruda Hall's daughter. Is the one who has the lightning token? The one that has the what? It's the token that looks like a Final Fantasy character. Pink hair. Yeah. Yep. The one who looks like a uh, Bacon's worst nightmare. If if anybody has played fucking Final Fantasy thirteen, it looks like fucking lightning. I have. I got you. It looks yeah, just I like have her. No idea what you're talking about. Neither. That's fine. But yeah, this one here. That's fucking lightning <laughs> through and through. Like not even close. But yeah, she says, uh, I understand you're, you're to sign the book today. Uh, yes, that is the case. Come along, then. I don't remember if I gave her a weird voice or not. So that's what she sounds like now. Okay. Enough. I don't remember what she sounded like either. I understand you're supposed to sign the book today. <laughs> I like Come that. on, now. <laughs> Come on. I like Come that. sign the book. Right along. Yippee, yippee, yeah. yeah she, she brings you on back in, and she's like, you know, um, Commander Porter is there as well. She's got like this book open up. She's got a small knife in her hand. She's like, Are you ready to sign the book? I'm ready to sign the book. And I'm going to pull my, pull my sleeves up because I feel like there's going to be some blood. Yeah, she's like, no, I'm just fucking with you. And she hands you, a, like, a pen. There's, like, a little ink pot there. <laughs> I, I pull my sleeves up to look she's manly. Like, we're, the, we're not crazy. Pull my <laughs> sleeves up to look manly in front of the second in command. Mm -hmm. Fuck it. Yeah, go ahead. Put your name in that book. Go ahead. I, I do. All right, yeah. Yeah, and she gives you a charter of exploration. Like, just just like looking through so who the fuck's name is Dalai Lama it's a weird name Dalai Lama <laughs> have you have you met Dalai Lama yet I have not it's just an interesting name <laughs> one of the crazier adventurers I've met in my time here this, this makes sense <laughs> he actually rides a llama <laughs> <laughs> the jungles of Chult. How he hasn't been killed yet, I have no idea. The man must have a, a certain set of skills. Mm. He must. So you're you're heading south into the jungles. Is that's cor that's correct, right? Is that is correct? So you know, be on the lookout for the ghouls. Like I said. Um, I'll pay you for every severed ghoul head you bring back. Up to 11. I have enough for up to 11, generally. And um, <laughs> it's, it's those giant footprints that really concern me. So any information you can give us on those giant footprints. Um, I forgot about that. Very helpful. She also gives you like, you know, she gives you like this pendant. Um, it's not really fancy, but it's, it is a flaming fist. It's like made out of pewter. It's on a pretty uh, strong leather... Uh, cord she's like hmm. between this and the uh, charter of exploration 
if you get any information before you find your way back here and you run into any of our uh, patrols out in the jungle, um, you can just show them this, give them the information. They'll, they'll pass it along when they return. Very well. Uh, just going to take it and stuff, stuff it in my pocket for now. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Flaming Fist. She looks at the book and she's like, Reuben. Reuben, sorry. It's, it's, very, it's okay. It's early in the morning. I'm hungry as well. <laughs> it's literally what people do to me. They're like, Michael? I'm like, nope, you almost got it. <laughs> That's okay. I'm, I've always been Devon. I've always been Paul. Sure, I, get, Paul. I get Armando a lot. Armando. And I'm just like, no, there's no O. It's just Armand or Mondo. It's one or the other. <laughs> Which is weird. But, you know. It's like I'm you embraced it. I did, man. It was a nickname I didn't want, and I absolutely embraced it. Aww. It's what I go by. People, people don't even know my name. And if they do, like I said, they add that no at the end. I 100%. Because I'm used to calling you Mondo. If you told me it was Armand, I would have called you Armando. My name is Armando. My name is Armando Mendoya. You killed my father. Today. Headed to the gates? Yeah, you guys are so all set to leave. Mm -hmm. Undril is, um, she is waiting. She's got like her, her gear in her pack and stuff. She looks like, uh, she looks pretty pleased to see you guys approaching. Azaka is out there talking to her. And we don't have homeboy anymore, do we? Roka. No, Roka. Roka is going to be heading back to Port Nianzaru with uh, with another group. He thanks you. He's like, hey, thanks a lot for your help last night. Again, I did get the information I needed. Um, here's the charter of explanation. So now you have two. So I know that like Rebin's got one. Who's going to hold the other? Let's go. Please let me hold it. No, you'll lose it. <laughs> no, please. I, I, I'll do it. a great job. Echoes really fights to hold it. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, there, there as a group over at the gate. Echo, no offense, but your mind isn't what it used to be. And listen, Barry, and I, I would have you hold it, but you disappeared once. I know that I haven't been the most reliable. Revan walks up. This is a great opportunity for me to prove my worth, and I really, really want to hold this. I think that we should give it to one of the. Uh... Buddies over here, and I point at. I walked your I, damn I cat. Let me have this. I. What? What did you have to eat last night? Me? Yes. I had some crackers and. Are some you sure about that? And some water, and. Uh, Are you so... sure about that? Testing his memory here. He's thinking, and you can kind of see the gears turning. Yes, I had crackers and bread. And see, I made you bread. question it. I don't trust you. It's an important item. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, not this petty. I don't care. I just don't want it to be lost. That's why I said somebody else should carry it. I wouldn't lose it. I have no plans of disappearing again. You didn't have plans on disappearing the first time. I feel like we should be giving this paper to Zescu and stop arguing. I think you're muted, Alex. I think that Zeskiel has lost his voice due to another <laughs> another Velociraptor attack. Nah, it was the sneezing. <laughs> it was the sneezing, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. Perfect. Cool. I stare at the old man as I put it in my pack. <laughs> He's not looking back at you, apparently. I'm looking. Well, okay. It, it, I'm I'm looking. He's just like, fine. Screw you. Whatever. You can take it later. I can't find my dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's in the cubby. It's in the cubby in the back. I see oh, him. Oh, fucking is, dude. Alex, you must have been really good at I spy books. Dude, you know what? <laughs> first Waldo. Yeah. I just had from me. As soon as you said it, I saw it. Who has the um? Who has the map of Chult that you got from uh, from your employer? Who's holding that? Group inventory. I don't have that on the group inventory. 
Let's give it to uh, Ecos. Yeah, there you go. Yes. Echoes can take the map. Oh wait, Ecos or Echoes? Or Echoes. Echoes. You. Echoes. Yes. Yes. Echoes. Yeah. yes. You have the map of Schultz. Yes, I have something. I have a, I have the map of Schultz. Yeah. We gon' die. Hmm. Can you produce the, the map time. of Chult, please? What? Give us the map, old oh, man. Oh, yes. He rummages through the bag. <sighs> I swear I had it. Oh, here it is. Here you go. All right, yeah, so Azaka's looking at the map, and she points out. Can you guys see where Camp Vengeance is on the map? Yeah. Uh, okay. Pinged right there. Hold on. Can no, play. I see it. Thank oh, you. we got to go. Mm. That's far. We're going deep, boys. Yeah. I mean, and Firefinger was um was about <laughs> here, according to Azaka. So, I mean, again, it's like south into the jungle, and it is out of the way. But Is that like... a cliff face in between the two of them? I think it's a river. Yeah, those are rivers. Oh, okay, cool. I was going to be like, I'm not trying to climb no cliffs and get you thrown gonna. off. We're yeah, going to no, die. I yeah, most of the cliffs are map? most of the cliffs are hidden. At least we can follow no, the river. Don't say that. <laughs> most of the cliffs are hidden. Oh God. No, oh yeah, Bacon, and you were telling me to trust the fucking DM. I don't. I didn't say trust him. Yes, you did. No, these are cliffs. Uh, these are cliffs right here, man. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's, <laughs> let's get a move on. I assume it's probably smarter to just follow the coast some extent right well we got to go back to port nine zaru from what appears to the map yeah if we want to stop back there maybe you can make some more lady friends <clears throat> i do i would rather not that I feel seems like... more of a ribbon thing okay so you guys are going to head back to port nine zaru to start it seems yes. like the obvious, right? Like go from Fort Larian back to Port Naranzaru and then to and Camp Camp Vengeance, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, so, so you're gonna follow the coast again, right? Yep. Follow Nazaka. Follow Nazaka. All right. Do I have our marching order still in here? I believe. So she has the map, right? You have the map. Oh, I have the map. I thought like, I, she's I, thought just I gave the map. map. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I don't know if that's role play. Or... <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> Can I please have the charter? Wait, where'd the charter go? Can I have the charter back? Oh, wait, I'm, I'm holding it. Never mind. <laughs> Thank you. No, I have the charter. You have the map. Oh, can I have the... Yeah. <laughs> that's what I have. Okay. God damn it. Echoes, as we're uh, making our way, his uh, accidentally sneezes and gets some slobber on the map. <laughs> he, try, he quickly tries to rub it off. We don't need uh, the map anymore. We know where we're going. He, oh. he, he rolls it up and puts it away. Don't lose it. <laughs> well, perhaps that was a mistake. Probably. Time will tell. What are you guys talking about up there? What? What we're going to do if we find some lizard men. Oh. I don't like you. Now right. keep, keep quiet, old man. Okay. So you guys set out. We do. Oh, okay. Katso agrees. We're moving out. <laughs> <laughs> the light rain continues for five days. Hmm. Yeah. Um, but you guys are like following along the coast and stuff. Well, until you get about like, uh, let's say you get about there. Map. Yeah. You guys have been like set in camp. You've been set in watch. Mm -hmm. um, during during those five days, is there anything in particular anyone had wanted to do or talk to someone about during those five days? It was five days. 
I the only thing that Echoes keeps pestering Aiku about is can he hold the charter? And Aiku doesn't even have the charter. I know, but he's just asking Aiku. <laughs> yeah, I think Aiku just continues to say the, th- the same things like Echoes, you have the map. I think it's not uh, a charter. Sure, it's but it's I'll something. trade the map for the charter. I what's your obsession with this? I just want to feel I just want the charter. No. Um, yeah, right, each time right. I, I would just say, like, I'm not the person who ha- has it in my possession. If you would like to talk to Zeskiel, good luck. He's not going to give it to you. He said this, is, this goes on for five days, right? For, so every, <laughs> every day when Echoes wakes up, he goes, he, he goes to IQ and asks the exact same thing. Can I have a charter? Just remember, Varian did disappear, and no one really asked him what happened. Exactly. That's exactly uh, what he says. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to know. Basically, by like the third day, I'm like, Zeskiel, you need to talk to Zeskiel. Good luck. <laughs> and then he, he keeps coming back yeah. to you every day. Oh, man. Yeah, you're testing my patience, Echoes. Please. I don't. I can, we can get you one important iron, Zaru, okay? Okay. Perfect. And then, uh, yeah, that, I just, it's just every day for the five days, he's going to keep asking the same thing. Okay. I, just, I just want you to know that he bothered IQ for five days and never, ever once went to the skill. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> you <know>, come <laughs> <laughs> This game is beginning to be too much like work. <laughs> no, stop. I don't want to work. I'm, it's my day off. <laughs> Other than that, no, I don't have anything else I, I personally want to do. Also, I apologize for my nerd. I mean, friend. Um, <laughs> I would want to figure out what Camp Vengeance is like if uh, mm. she knows anything. Yeah, I might try oh. and also figure out what, what hooking us up means. Oh, damn, I should have done something more productive. <laughs> um, hook, Hooking you up means, uh, you know, supplies... Um, it's very possible that um, there may be a little bit of a, I mean, probably not much at the camp from what from what I'm understanding now about this this land, but uh, there'll probably be a small monetary um, reward for for helping me along. But uh, mostly supplies. I know I can, you know, get you guys supplies you might need that they have there. You know, weapons and such, uh, rations, rope. If you don't have enough rope, although it looks like you you all have <laughs> rope. Staring at Varian. Yeah. Did you say rope? <laughs> Very useful tool. Definitely not looking at I could he gave his away. I yep. Can't I was too heavy. I'll become encumbered. <laughs> but, um, Can't carry I it. <laughs> I honestly don't know what to expect anymore. I mean, like I said, when I first arrived here, um I was led to believe that Schultz was a very different place when they sent me here. I mean, they, they told me I'd be able to get a horse in Port Nianzaru and just ride out to the fort. Um, I do know that they uh, had been at a, another fort before that, um, or another camp anyway, uh, Camp Righteous. Uh, from what I understand, Camp Righteous had been overrun. Um, I'm not sure. Camp Righteous, I believe, is on our map. Did you... We... I believe we have a spot in where we it's could... It's across the river from it. I heard the word map and I whip it out. <laughs> Just put, uh, that put it away. Before you lose it. Okay, he puts the map away. I put the map <laughs> away. It's across the river from Camp Vengeance. Somewhat. Yeah, I, that's originally where... Uh, that's originally where the Order of the Gauntlet had been um, stationed until uh, something happened and they... they we're forced uh, to move to the other location. But that's really all I know, aside from the fact that I need to deliver these dispatches. Well, we should get there as quickly as possible, but as you can, as we now know, it's not as easy as what they've said. So it's going to be a long, long journey in the jungle. 
Indeed. Welcome to the jungle. Hey, Mondo. Quick yeah. question. Um, we got money. In the five days that we were traveling, could I have, uh, could Echoes have been looking for any kind of like herbs or anything that seems quite useful that he can probably pick while we're on the travels? Any yeah, kind absolutely. Of herbs at all? Yeah, why don't you give me a, uh, why don't you give me a, a nature, a nature check? Give, give me two. We'll give you two chances to find something pretty nifty. Would his knowledge of medicine help at all? Um, in the specific plants that he may look for? Not necessarily. I mean, possibly. I mean, it would be okay. a nature check to recognize the plants. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Jeez, the crits today. Oh, you crit on that? Ooh. Roll 20 has missed us. <laughs> I did. Do I need to do a second roll or? Yeah, give me a second roll. <gasps> ah. Very good. Oh, I also have an herbalism kit. I don't really know what that is, though, to be honest with you. Nailed it. You can use an herbalism kit to do things like craft a potion of healing if you have the time and the... And the... Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. That's not really relevant at the moment, then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just looking for any kind of, like, useful resources on their travels that I could just hold on to and maybe use in the future. Let me make a die roll of my own. So, yes, the crazy senile old man has gone flower picking. Potions of healing are pretty nice. Yeah, make them. But the way Mondo <laughs> expressed them when we were trying to buy one for Castle, it seems like I'm never going to be able to make one. Yeah, you would need, you would need, well, I mean, you've got the ingredients in there to make, uh, it's all the time. Yeah, it's, it does, it does take some time. So, like, if you guys like decide to take a couple of days somewhere, you know, you might be mm. able to. You might be able to do that. I'm, just, like I'm trying. To, uh, my plan is to maybe sell whatever I can at port since I'm low on gold. Right, but you do find um. You do find a couple of interesting plants. I'm going to tell yes. you what they do. Oh shit! Um, oh, actually, you find you find one. Um, you find one plant, and you also find this like other thing. But I'll tell you about the plant first. Okay. first yeah you find um what's That's called great. a rioth root r-y-a-t-h it's something you had heard of somewhere deep in your in your mind um rioth root yeah um any creature that ingests this root gains 2d4 temporary hit points 2d4 temp yeah, okay. you find you find three of them. Oh a fuck creature, yeah! Yeah, a creature that consumes more than one root in a twenty-four hour period, though, um, might be poisoned. So okay. it's not like you can just like sit there and like you know, chomp them down before every fight. Um, yeah, you might get you might get poisoned. You'll die unless you yeah. have protection from poison. Um, Is this under? Do I add this under equipment or? You can you can add it under equipment. Okay. You also while while you're you know let's say it happens around the same time while you're um while you're looking about you also find a yacha, which is a harmless meaty beetle about the size of a human hand. Hmm. Meaty. And um. Yeah, it feeds on worms and maggots and things like that. It moves really slow. It's easy to catch. Um, okay. A creature with mad monkey fever that eats a raw or cooked yacha can immediately make a saving throw with advantage against that disease. So it could come in handy. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So the herbalism kit helps you get like that plant though. So basically the kit contains a variety of instruments such as clippers, mortar, and pestle pouches, vials used by herbalists to create remedies and potions. Um, proficiency with the kit lets you add your proficiency bonus to any ability checks you make to identify or apply herbs. So next time you're looking for plants, you can add your proficiency bonus um, to identifying herbs and stuff. Gotcha. And again, yeah, proficiency with the kits required to create antitoxin and any potion of healing. Sounds good. Yeah. 
And um, yeah, that happens. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah, so you guys spend five days so far, and you get to. Do you guys see that little red uh, hex? Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be like where you guys are at instead of me drawing like little X's and stuff. That's where you get after like you know five days of a generally uneventful red um, what? A little on red hex on the map. Just yeah, just above the Y. If it you zoom in, off. I think it even says party like inside of it. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Um, oh, there it is. Yeah, so that's going to be like the location you guys are at or think you're at. Um, it is two hours in. Um, before we go any further, if um, we want to take a break. That would be good. Yeah, we can cool. take a quick break. Yeah. Well, cool. Um, we will be right back with the uh, part two of Tomb of Annihilation, episode six. Six um, minutes? We, yeah, about six. five minutes. Five minutes. Cool. We will uh, see you guys in just a second.
Alrighty guys, welcome back to part two of Tomb of Annihilation, episode six. Five days into our journey back to Port Naru and Zaru. And uh yeah. I'm being pestered and gonna get hooked up with gear eventually. What's going on? Yeah. Nothing. We're we're just talking about stuff, you know. Things, the usual. Mm -hmm. It takes it takes a day. Oh shit! Okay. Yeah, it take it takes a day. So I mean, that would be a full day of like you know mixing up your stuff and like you know boiling it and things like that. Oh, because we're, I would we're talking that. recipes on mm -hmm. the break. Boil it, mash it, stick it in the stew. <laughs> yes, exactly. You give it to us raw and wiggly. You keep nasty chips. <laughs> My buddy came Those over and. Those are great, man. Two random sticks of ram. <laughs> that is random. That's very random. Random access memory. He uh he went and got uh, new. Uh, we hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't listening, so I don't hate you yet. I like to emphasize the yet though. There's still time for you to ruin it. I expect it usually. I don't know if I'm allowed to hate Baryon. <laughs> I mean, you can. You're I think I just kind to... of a... So, in order for um, Echoes to, like, make this recipe, it's a full day of, like, brewing or whatever? Yeah, it would need to be, like, a day of, like, downtime in order to make a potion. Gosh. Oh, I see. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you, so if you guys are, like, camped out for, like, a full day trying to rest up or whatever... Mm. I feel like we're um, never gonna do that. I mean, nothing, nothing too bad has happened yet. It, m it might become necessary at some point. You never know. Wow, that's ominous. <laughs> I'm just saying, you <laughs> never know. <laughs> that's how we play. He's like, boom, uh, T-Rex. <laughs> and I would probably need to know. That would kind of make sense at this point. <laughs> which, which, like, um, which plants and stuff I would need, right? Like, I don't know that off the top of my head. Well, you've got no. You you would probably know it because you've got like the, you've got the herbalism kit. You're proficient with the herbalism kit, so you would know what sort of stuff you need. You definitely have enough stuff in your kit to make um to make at least one. Oh, are you talking about a potion of healing? Yeah, potion of healing. Okay. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just double checking. Okay. I don't want to be po I don't want my tea to be poisoned for t saying that you shouldn't have the uh, paper. Don't worry, I purify <laughs> it. <laughs> Boom! Just so you could torture me later on. <laughs> what the fuck? Bacon, you are too much who to got, me, sir. Who got put in their place? <laughs> uh, I think Bacon is just having fun. <laughs> I think Bacon's just high. You could just say like, <laughs> no, did just bro, all, this, cheese, all this, so. all this smoke in California is rising up to Oregon and getting Bacon high. Nothing like some ash. I'm gonna. Oregon knew about fire, bad fires before. California. All, all those California dreams that are burned up really get me going. <laughs> Uh, it's funny because the places where all those people who actually like go for the Cali wings aren't even on fire. It's like the coastline. It's on fire. Way to ruin my joke. I hate you. Yep. I'm just saying the one part of the, the one part of California that everyone universally kind of likes is the only part that's really being like severely damaged. Right. What about the D and D world? No, it's good. It's raining. No. I think. I'm about to burn this it forest is. down. It is still raining. It's been raining for five. Days. Okay. Yeah. For five days, five so, nights. In those so five guys, days, like, I, oh yeah, sorry, go ahead. Oh no, go ahead. No, no. Uh, no, I was gonna just ask. In those five days, those are the things I found, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You find find those things over the course of the five days, like probably like when you guys are like resting for lunch or you know whatever it is you happen to be doing, or you know at night, like you might like kind of wander off like not too far or something. So uh. I have I have a question. Yeah. About uh Barian's bird he got. Mm hmm Is that out like all the time? Yeah. Or yes, so it's on his shoulder at the moment. <laughs> One night Revan's gonna be like sitting there just kinda like chilling out with Onyx and he's gonna look at Barry and he's So you got to bed? I did, it was a gift. Just conveniently. When I got to a panther, you got to bird. <laughs> it, 
Well, it, it was more a gift from my queen when, when I went and gave my report. Hmm. But it is a very nice panther, I, I must say. Very, very oh. sheen coat. Oh, thank you. Your, your bird has a, a slight magical glow to it. I, I appreciate that. Thank you. I think <laughs> that, that was a compliment, yes? Yes, it was a compliment, Ben. Good, I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> Onyx licks its lips. His lips. <laughs> I'm not the correct. That's his lips. <laughs> Just. <laughs> the bird will give out a large caw at the uh, at the panther. <laughs> That's all I wanted. <laughs> This fucking animal Tinder? What is happening? No, I didn't want to know. First, first hey, off, tweet me. first, first off, I think he's indicating that nothing. Onyx wants to eat the bird. That was more of what I was indicating. But secondly, Bacon would know nothing of Tinder. Not that he could ever get a match. Uh, oh, that was too much. You worked too hard for that joke. It didn't. I didn't really through. work that hard. It was right there. Okay. You worked no, really hard to come and deflate my joke, though. So you guys have been doing things like um, pointing know, out the drinking irony. Your water. Yeah, drink drinking your water, and um, and such. Oh man! Now just to just to uh, prove my usefulness, I've been mm -hmm. finding random puddles, purifying it, and then drinking from it. <laughs> just flexing okay. on everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is that odd flex? But okay. <laughs> It's at this point that Echo okay. realizes he has no water. And he's just like, huh. Damn. Um, I invite you to my muddy pools of water, which have been purified. I accept. And I go and drink with him. Varian also drinks, thinking this is some sort of cultural thing he's trying to learn about. <laughs> it is a weird flex because I... Uh, Purify them of poison, not disease. <laughs> <laughs> not shit. <laughs> do I need to do a roll or something? <laughs> Am I going to die? <laughs> you get dysentery. <laughs> By <Bye>, ice. <laughs> I hope I get a uh, mad monkey disease or fever. I have a beetle I can eat. Varian's kind of just hosed, though. All right, Zeskiel. Okay. As you guys are traveling on day five, I'd like you to give me a perception check, please. Definitely. Everyone or just Zeskiel? Just Zeskiel. He said oh. Zeskiel. I'm sorry. No, it definitely sounded like echoes. <laughs> give me that. Ooh. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, so you guys are traveling. <laughs> Bacon's face. <laughs> We've all rolled nat one to our uh, nat twenties on like our first rolls. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, not true. <laughs> I just Close. had advantage for it. Still, he <laughs> still counts. rolled in that though. My second roll. Late afternoon, as you guys are starting to look for like a place to, uh, I'm going to move your advance your little thing there. One, uh, as you're looking for a safe place to set up camp for the night, Zeskiel, you notice in the sky like seems to be coming down like pretty quickly there are a whole bunch of strange winged things they kind of look like uh smaller versions of those things that uh you use okay. as a lift i'm gonna Back pull out my sword and mm -hmm. and say i need a lift <laughs> they don't look like they're coming in for to to give you a ride though they they look like they're swooping down to attack I mean, they saw me pull out my sword and shield, I hope, and then scream, I need a lift, and look up at the sky. Yeah. They they probably did notice that. Oh, you mean like all your friends? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you meant the pterodons. Oh. <laughs> no. Should we try and grapple one and tame it? <laughs> oh, no. We don't need any more animals. But we could fly with this one. So anyone who figured out what he meant by that might want to look up. Yeah, and you definitely. See, like, yeah, you see these things like swooping down towards yeah. you. Yeah. Fuck! Bird! Oh shit. <laughs> Mondo was like, boom! Okay, bacon, <laughs> damn it. 
<laughs> Megan's just enjoying himself now. Booyaka! Wait, no, get oh, me. Let's turn that down a little. That's kind of loud. This is the first time I can hear it. Oh shit, dude. So these are flying? Uh, yeah, bro, now flying. we have another party companion. It, but we lost an old one, so we'll see what she I like this one better. It's time to duel. What is this gray uh, smoke? Oh, the <laughs> one. There we go. Are we are we doing our initiative now? Yes, everyone should roll initiative. Don't forget to click on your dude. Click on your dude and then initiative, right? Yeah. I always That's fuck initiative. it up. <clears throat> what is the uh what's this gray smoke thing? What are we? Gray Ooh, smoke thing. God damn, I s Ooh. I don't know. What is wrong with my initiative the last couple times? Oh, are you talking about like the watermarks on the map? Fuck! I blame you, Bainbridge. No, 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 no. Oh yeah, it's just watermarks on the map. No, no, no. That's no. Um, I have a plus four to initiative, and I rolled a six. Nice. So there's. Yeah, I have a... <clears throat> Sorry. Do you understand what you do to me? It's the... no one else sees this. <laughs> all, right, all right. Is it on your stream? What, no. what am I supposed to see? Oh yeah, that's weird. I think that might just be a glitch. For I don't me? see that. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> if, you, if you look on the stream, he has like this gray box in the middle wait, of the map. Wait, wait, wait! I need to open up the stream. Yeah. I think he's, yeah. I'm gonna refresh it. Since Azaka is gonna go before me, I'll, I'll refresh it. Oh yeah, look at that. I see that too. Yeah, it's weird. Are you like, the only one who sees that? I guess. I said gray weird. box and no one else freaked out. So. Uh, five? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got a negative point ninety two for initiative. And I you still have to go low, there. buddy. <laughs> how? <laughs> negative point nine two. How? How? I have a <laughs> negative um, index. Yeah, I have a negative index. All right, well, it's still there. Who cares? Whatever. <sighs> um, yeah, so these birds are swooping in pretty quickly. They have not caught you by surprise, thanks to a really nice perception check by Zeskiel. Nice, Damn dude. right. That's yeah. how you do it, fucking Rebin. Go fuck nice. yourself, Zeskiel. Yikes. Azaka Stormfang, having heard your strange warning, but it was a warning all the same. Uh, whips out her longbow and she takes a shot at the one like zooming in towards her. Completely missing. Not so lucky. Yeah. Does she get more than a? She gets she gets two longbow attacks, so she's gonna go ahead and do a second uh, one. Hell yeah. She gets yeah. two. She gets two. She's pretty cool. She does hit this one for seven points of damage. So it's got narrow and it, it seems really mad. Which which <laughs> one did she attack? Why did they uh oh no they they just all rolled really low. <laughs> yeah. She attacked the one like in like that was zooming towards her. Okay. Like that one right okay. there, yeah. So she ends her turn and it will be Aiku's turn. Aiku, these things are flying in from all around you. They're screeching now, now that they know that they've been seen. Yeah. Um Ooh. I am going to cast uh shatter like right there area they are they are um are they what's, what's the range on that they're, um, they're, yeah they're okay. fairly high up like they're probably at least like 40 feet up okay i um, think it's 60 feet but let me check might be 30. i do believe that there should be a big cat next to Reddit. it's 60 feet you can drag them onto the board can i yeah you should be able to um it's 60 feet 60 feet okay yeah cool. so you can definitely do that cool 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 um where's my shatter spell there it is i think it was dc 15 con and or take 18. yeah neither one of them make it they take 18 points of damage the one that thunder. got hit with the arrow thunder damage yeah the one that got hit with the arrow just drops cool so then I will get uh, eight temporary HP. Level plus my charisma. Pteranodon. I'm going to be honest with you. I really am surprised it wasn't a T-Rex because the lizards seem to be getting bigger and bigger every time they have it. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, but yeah, that will be my turn. End of turn. All okay. right. It is there a nice change of pace to attack them before they attack all of us. And yeah, maybe I won't nice. die. 
I mean, I'm going after them, but still. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do the normal thing, Eldritch Blast. I'm going to mm -hmm. go ahead and blast at this one. Which one? Ping them again? I got it. Right here, bottom left. Okay, got it. Yeah, was, let me let me make my screen a little better. There we go. Okay, yeah, go for it. Yeah, that hits him. Perfect. For five points of damage. By the way, we're all level three, right? That, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's minimum damage. Close. Who knows, guys? We might level up soon if we can get to a goddamn checkpoint. All right. Whatever it's I, called. I don't think I get a second beam this time, so go ahead. Okay. End of turn. Yep, end of turn. Let me press that button because I forgot that's a thing. Hmm. It's been a while. Right, we're gonna... Boop. On my snake friend. So remind me again what I have to do. No, you I got it. Quit. You're good. I'm pretty sure. Mm, doesn't he have to click on the, the little thing that says Shield of Faith on the bottom left of the spell and then click on somebody? He oh, can, yes. He can, but he doesn't have to because he added it oh. to my... Um... Nope, it just did it. Got it. Cool. That's my turn. Oh, yeah. That's my turn. Oh, it's a bonus action? Can I ready an attack just in case one gets up in my grill? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, that's what I'm doing. And then, okay. So I uh, reach out, point a finger towards Aiku, cast Shield of Faith on him, mm -hmm. and then I look back up in the sky with my sword and shield ready for an attack. Fucking okay. swing better, better, swing better, better. Whew. Okay, this one from behind comes swooping down swoop swoop um plus uh 20 55 you know how how funny would it have been if it was the one to the left of echoes and it like crit <laughs> <laughs> and i die again <laughs> and you just got put down before you could do anything <laughs> it's been like that every single fight <laughs> it swoops down and attempts to bite her it, it bite does her. bite her and she takes six points Yo, that's and a really nice change damage. of pace, guys. All it did was bite. Hmm. Yeah, it, it didn't attack twice. It didn't bite and It then breathes fire. <laughs> oh, fuck this No, game. it does. It does not. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, good. I was going to say, if, if, a, if a fucking pterodon can breathe fire, I quit. <laughs> and then it, uh, it flies up another, like, five feet. Does she get attack of opportunity? She does not. She takes a swing, but it absolutely misses. Like, the thing is just too cool to not get hit with an attack of opportunity. Mm, some disengage right. bullshit. So, um, I'm going to use bark skin. Mm -hmm. on, can I do that on myself? It says, touch a willing creature. Yeah, you can be a willing creature for that. All right, cool. I'm a willing <laughs> creature. So, I'm going to do uh, click on me and then click on that. Uh-huh. Cool. And then as a bonus action, I'm going to actually. Actually. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. Can I use Thorn Whip at this one? I think its, it's range is 30 feet. It's still, it's still 40 feet up in the air. Okay. I will move. Oh. Twenty feet in the air, <laughs> I will fly. <laughs> no, nah, okay. If that's the case, I'm going to uh, just use Shillelagh on my quarterstaff. Okay. I don't have to click on that for it. Can I, do I? I could just say I did it, or oh, it's okay. a cantrip, right? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You don't need to click on the actual spell. Okay. Well, I did it because I'm okay. <laughs> All right. And then uh, that's just gonna be it for my turn. Okay. All right, a little upset at getting hit by like this thing, which uh, flew five feet up from her. She is going to cast a spiritual weapon. Ooh. Yeah, she's going to miss it though, but um, she creates a spiritual weapon in, in the air. I know I have a, uh, I have a spiritual weapon thing. In the uh, in the what you call them, don't I? I'm pretty sure I do. Area of effect things. Where are they? There they are. Okay. 
Okay, there's her spiritual weapon. <clears throat> so she does that, and she's also, that is a... Uh, I think that's a uh, that's a bonus action i think mm -hmm. i think it's a <clears throat> a bonus action to cast right yep. yeah and it's also a bonus to action to, to continue yeah to move it and continue to attack so she also pulls out her mace and like she readies an attack like if it swoops back down on her again she's going to try and like bean it with the mace and that will be the end of her turn and she's just like fucking chult is what she says <laughs> yeah <laughs> fair all right, this one here swoops down at Echoes. Come on, 16, or please, please. Uh -huh. And tries to bite him. Fuck off, don't do it. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it whatever. bites you for. Well, what were you wearing armor before? Yeah, but it's. With what the, did you have? I had um, hide armor for 13, and then I used bark armor for 16. Okay. And you didn't buy the shield? I think even with the shield, it's just 13. Yeah, so it hits you for six points of damage. Yeah. And um, bark skin. Oh, yeah, I guess bark skin is, in concent is concentration. Yeah, so you no longer have your bark skin. Oh, what the fuck? That was... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it then flies up 10 feet. Fuck you, bird. Oh, do I have a attack of opportunity? or You do not seem to have an attack of opportunity. It seems that it has some sort of, like, awesome flyby ability where it doesn't provoke an opportunity attack when it flies out of an enemy's reach. Does hmm. uh, Hellish Rebuke work? Hellish Rebuke would absolutely work. Yeah, but I'm not going to use it. I'm, I'll save okay. that. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Fuck so you, that's the end of its turn. Its buddy here comes swooping in at Zeskiel, who has readied an action. Smart man. <laughs> this Birdie. sort of thing has happened. Come here, birdie. Yeah, so it swoops in. You can go ahead and swing at it before it tries to Watch bite out. you. Yeah, that's going to hit it. Watch out. <clears throat> nice. It takes 12 slashing damage. It seems really upset as it attempts to bite you. It was not expecting that to happen. It does Shield not face. bite you. And it, uh, little teeth. Yeah, and it flies um, back up. At least 10 feet. Dead. Passing the torch to the dead one. This one just continues to flop around on the ground for a while. <laughs> oh, that's kind of sad. It shits itself. Yeah. This one back here swoops down at Burian. Ooh. Biting him for eight points of damage. That it does. I can't do simple math. Me I have that problem as the sun goes down. I only have that problem on days that end with Y. And then flies back. <laughs> uh, I gotta laugh. <laughs> this other one here. Oh, shit. <laughs> I had that one covered up. This other one here swoops down also at Zeskiel. Bring it, bird. Yeah, it's like, I'm bringing it. <laughs> Shield to the face. Shield to the face. <laughs> and it flies up and away. Shield to the face. Shield to the face. <laughs> Revan. All right, Revan. Go time. Uh, first off, Hunter's Mark. Level one. Mark this bitch. And then okay, I'm going to attack. That one is marked. And I'm going to attack that marked one. Whoops. Sure. Oh my lord, why is my character sheet so small right now? Extendo clipo, cuz. Uh, longbow. Yeah, you hit it with the longbow. Uh, do I have my thing clicked? Click it now. Rubber, hold your peace. 
I I did. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Thirteen damage. Thirteen points of damage. The thing takes a crossbow bolt that tears through one of its wings. Oh, it's now got a hole in its wing. It looks at it really just mad. It's not a bolt. Oh yeah. I was I'm still last night there were a lot of crossbow bolts flying around, so I got crossbow bolts on the brain. I meant to watch, I really did. But I was busy freaking out about the fire having all my stuff in my room. That's completely understandable. Anyway. That, yeah, anything um, else you want to do? You're gonna move or anything? I don't know that you can do much else. I just want to look at Onyx real quick and see if sure. Yeah, he's toss, he, he, toss the panther in the air. There you say, go. Yeah. He can't he can't do anything necessarily, <laughs> but I can move him. I want to move him over next to Echoes. Like, okay. Guys, if, mm -hmm. it comes, if it comes in to hit, I want it to hold an action. So I know it'll. I know I can't do that because right. Never mind. Yeah, that would be like if you were to have this hold action. action yeah. yeah, you would need to do that on your turn. I was thinking. I was thinking giving. I was giving up my action next turn. That's not how that works. So I'm just gonna have him sit there and chill. Okay. All right, and this last one swoops down at. Oh, well, let's let's give it an eeny meeny miny mo. Who's Mo? It swoops down at Aiku. You're Mo. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Suck it, Mo. Where's Curly? Mo, Mo. It <laughs> says. As it swoops I like that we both you. we both went to the Three Stooges. <laughs> Attempting to bite you, completely missing. Why couldn't you miss for me? Damn it! And then it swoops back up. It totally was the shield of faith. Exactly. Scared him. Yep. What's that? Totally, yeah. Bringing us to the top of the next round. Azaka turns, and the one that, like, had swooped down at you, she's going to take a couple of shots at it with her longbow. Yeah, she's going to hit it once. She's going to hit it twice. It takes a total of 16 points of damage. Which one did she hit? Happy the one that the one that swooped down at you and oh. swooped away. Mm -hmm. die. And then she nods at you because it is your turn. Yep. Uh, Eldritch blasts on mm -hmm. it. The same one. Mm -hmm. Damn. Yeah, cool. that hits it. Man, tell me what that looks like. <clears throat> it's just like um, you know the like cannon, like the guns that would shoot a airplanes out of the sky. <laughs> yeah, what are they called? Anti air gun flat cannons. Flat cannons, that one's that's what kind of like what it looks like for the Eldritch Blast. So, and then, then it just uh like rips open uh its chest and then it falls down. Um, okay, nice. so I can't see like anything in this zone. <laughs> I don't know, like, Which zone? like the like there's that huge gray thing, so I don't know what's closest to me. What the hell are you seeing? That I don't you're know, seeing gray thing. <laughs> it, it has know. just the gray it's weird. Block. It's super weird. Is it still on? Is it still on the stream? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried to refresh and it didn't go away. But as I know Azaka's right here, and I think Rebin is right there. Yeah, it's Rebin's gonna go away. Here. It's gonna go away right now. Aha! Yeah, that's weird. Somehow I had Fog of War like clicked <laughs> on that just for you. <laughs> just yeah, I don't know how that happened. Weird. Okay, I can see. Cool. I'm going to bunch around this group. Uh, then I am going to. Cast as a bonus action hex. Mm -hmm. Um, boom. this is the last spell slot that I have. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna hit this guy right here. Constitution. Constitution okay. is what I hex, but yep. All right. And that's the end of my turn. Let me scroll up. I think. Oop. All right, Barian. Therian is here. So this guy here in the bottom left again keeps attacking me. I'm not a big fan of that. I'm going to try him to tell him to go away. The good old Eldritch Blast. Did I click the button or did I not? There you go. I did. You did. Yep. You hit him. Woohoo. For 11 points of force damage. Woohoo. And I push him five feet away if that matters at all. Yeah, it goes like five feet further up in the air. Oh, I thought it was 10 feet. I may have had uh, the wrong number on the mind. Oh, gotcha. It goes up 10 feet. 
Ah! Hmm. Very unfriendly behavior. And then move on to the next. I'm not your friend. All right. Wish you were. Um, seeing that one, uh, the top left one is hexed. Mm -hmm. Uh, seeing it is out of my range. I'm gonna attempt to cast poison spray on it. What's the range on the poison spray? It's just ten feet. Oh, is it? Yeah. Ooh, I read something wrong then. I will not do that. I will pick up my javelin mm -hmm. and toss it at him. Toss it at the hex one. Go for it. The one that looks pretty weak. Yeah. Uh, the one in front of you probably looks a little weaker than the um, than the hexed one. Yeah. It's one of the ones that got caught in that shatter. Oh, I thought it. I thought the one was that the hex one was. So the left one. Is Rebin's hunter's mark, and then the top left one is the hex, mm -hmm. and the very top one is the thunder's mark. Sure. Which one did I try with my sword? Um, you attack that one that's currently hexed with your sword. Yeah, so I'm gonna throw my javelin at that one. Okay, yeah. All right, yeah, you hit it for four points of damage. Yeah, it takes four points of damage. Yeah. It's not having a nice day. Now there's a Good. Big giant javelin sticking out of it. It probably like tore through like one of its wings and stuff. Oh, it's got a hole in there. Yeah. Ouch. And I seen as I can't do anything ranged, I'm gonna backtrack to the group just a little bit. Okay. Force it to come a little bit closer and end my turn. All right. Okay, this one being harassed by the spiritual weapon swoops back down at Undril. <laughs> and tries to bite her again. It does not bite her that time, and it flies back up, flies like 30 feet up into the air. <clears throat> and it will be Echoes' turn. Okay. Um... I think I'm just gonna uh, ice knife this boy over here. Okay. Directly to my left. Mm -hmm. uh, e e I did I click it? No. You may have sometimes roll 20 is a little slow on the uh, when you click a button. So you might not have clicked it. You might have clicked it. It hasn't showed up yet. You might not have clicked it. Right, let me try again. Hold on. E there you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you throw your ice <laughs> knife or you did click it and it just took a minute because um, <laughs> it's there again now. Yeah, you hit him though. Okay, cool. Uh, level one. <laughs> so it takes eight points of piercing damage. There's nothing around it to get cold, but... It instantly has chapped lips. <laughs> yes, <Hey. it> does. <laughs> uh, and then I think... Uh, let me see. Can I do anything else? So is Thorn Whip a cantrip? That's a cantrip, so can I ah. use it as... Oh, no, that's a spell. Never mind. Okay, I end my turn. Let me scroll up. Okay. So I'm confused. Does it make yeah. a dexterity save? That would be if there were other creatures. Yeah, there was nothing it. near it. Yeah. Because the ice shatters. And it goes to a creature that's five foot Oh, close. okay. Yeah. yeah. So like, if it was like... um, If he had cast it, like for instance, on, like, um, on you... Mm -hmm. You would take the piercing damage, yep. and everyone around you would need to make that deck save or take that additional cold damage. But it doesn't take the additional cold damage. Right. Okay, cool. Okay. Undril sends her spiritual weapon up what and attacks her again. Weapon? Her spiritual weapon appears to be a... I'm looking at Zaka Stormfang. I'm like, that's not her. It appears to be a mace, kind of like similar to the one she's holding, but a lot bigger. Gotcha details i hear that and she hits it for four points of force damage and she then also prepares a um to, to hit it with the mace when it comes back down something she didn't do last time it attacked her so i'll have yeah. to try to remember that she was too surprised maybe who knows what was going on in her head let me put a little dot next to her so i remember let's put yeah. i'll remember this time too okay <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, this one that is Hunter's Marked comes swooping down at Echoes, who threw an ice knife at it. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and it bites him for seven points of piercing damage. Well, fuck you. <laughs> it makes sense, though. I mean, if it wasn't Echoes that got bit for all the damage, who else would get hit? Yeah, exactly. This game is... It then flies up 30 feet. Would you say this game is racist? It only it's... goes for the tieflings? It's becoming that way. I don't know. Well, I mean, that tiefling did throw an ice knife at it. Fucker bit me. <laughs> this one comes swooping down. At Zeskiel, who threw a javelin at it. He's going to try and bite you. He does not, I don't believe. Your armor class is better than that. Yeah, it is. Yeah, shield to the face. Yeah, and it flies up 10 feet. Damn that range. This other one comes swooping back in at Barian. Attempted to bite him. It bites him for five points of piercing damage and flies 30 feet up. This one here comes swooping in at Azaka Stormfang, biting her or attempting to. Anyway. They are, they're swooping, swooping up and down. Bad, very bad. Yeah. It misses her. She survives another round. Rebin. Uh, is that one right there within five feet of Echoes? It is not. It's 30 feet up. Oh, then Rebin's taking a shot at it. Yeah. I was going to let fucking Onyx have some fun here, but you just had to take that away from me. I did. 10? 10? No, it misses it. Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure. 100%? Yeah, I'm 100%. <laughs> oh man somehow you turned it into a 17 <laughs> and you hit it i have to keep the streak alive boys i have to keep the streak alive well technically it's flying which means it's technically moving which means you wouldn't no but i haven't missed a, a shot yet oh i thought you meant the whole miss a stationary target the only attacks i've missed have been with onyx what's that look like uh it like hits it in the neck and mm -hmm. then like as it falls it starts to do like the plane spiraling and then for some odd reason when it hits the ground it's it's like a little mini explosion of dirt okay cool it's a very cinematic scene mm -hmm. goes well with the music i step on the beast as it falls <laughs> fuck you What else you got, man? Anything? Uh, I don't... Oh, bonus action, move my target. Okay, yeah, do that. Wait, that's Hex. That's not my Hunter's Mark. Does Hunter's Mark only work for Castle, or is it for anyone that It's only it? me. Okay. That, make, that makes sense, actually. Why would I ask that? End my turn. That one's dead. I don't like care. Storm Fang. That one that swooped down on her, she's going to try to shoot it again twice with her long bow. She misses the first one and the second. Two Damn arrows it. up in the air. <coughs> Ending her turn. Aiku. Mm-hmm. It takes seven <laughs> points of Eldritch Blast damage. Ah, I feel hexed. Hmm. Oh, shit. God damn it, Mondo. No, it's all right. Yeah, it would have taken a little bit of time. No, it's, it's all good. It's all good. Who the fuck is that? 
I don't like some, that. Some guy is like running towards the beach at you guys. Yeah, probably. I'll just yeah, there we are. Sure. All right, Barian. Barian has a bird on him now. Well, it's, it's like 30 feet up, but yeah. It's still close enough. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. I I hit him very, very well. Yes, you do. I think everyone at this point has rolled a nat 20. It takes nine points of damage and is pushed 10 feet further up in the air. So it's now 40 feet above you. Just keep it away. <clears throat> these unfriendly, um, whatever these are, pterodactyls, pterodons. Is there anything within striking distance on the ground? No, just your friends. Ah, friends. Please don't hit me. <laughs> uh, here, I want to do just something. Just your companions. I'm going to do something story-based. Mm -hmm. uh, can I de roll deception to make Ecos not look at me and then heal him, or would that be considered two actions? That would normally be considered two actions. However, I mean, um, yeah, I would, I would say, I would say, I'm gonna let you try that anyway. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Here we go. Uh. Ecos, look, lizard man in the bush, oh, right yeah, over there. No. <laughs> I look over. Roll an uh, roll, roll an insight check. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and then as he's like turning around because he mm -hmm. like, got fooled, I'm gonna yeah. uh, pump him with uh, ten HP. Oh, okay. okay. I would have accepted that regardless, then. Shit. I know, but now it's the fact that you know I'm helping you. Okay. And then you turn around as a healing hand grabs you on the shoulder, like, oh shit, you weren't supposed to see. And then I take my hand <laughs> off. Oh, <Aww. laughs> that's what Echo does. And then I, I lean in and say, that's for drawing my blade on you. And I lean back out. <laughs> Echo, oh, yeah, right. I forgot. <laughs> and my turn. Okay. This pterodon comes swooping in at Undril, who remembers that she had readied an action. Yeah, I she remember that too. For one point of bludgeoning damage. So she doesn't do a lot. It's a glancing blow as so it attempts to bite her. She has a zero modifier on her strength. Yeah, I guess so. Rip. I mean, sometimes, look at her. Sometimes roll 20 messes up with the. Uh, the yeah, no, she, she, no, yeah, she's got a, she's got a zero modifier. <laughs> yeah. Brings me back. The old days. The good old yeah, I mean, dwarf days. Yeah. That was me. That's why I'm just curious. Oh, that's something else she can try. I think she's going to try something else like next time on it. There we go. But yeah, so it like it bites. Does it bite her? It does. It bites her for five points of piercing damage and swoops back up. This weird guy comes running up. And even though I hate them, I rolled it randomly. It, see, it seems to be some sort of cat man, like the ones you saw on Port Nianzaru. And um, he comes in. He's probably not going to get too close. He'll probably come about here. And he takes a shot. Um, he takes a couple of shots with a short bow at the one that's uh, harassing Zeskiel. Damn it. Hmm. <laughs> He hits it once for nine piercing. Dude, this Damn. guy's name is awesome. <laughs> he hits it a second time for an additional six. Damn. It does this whole like spiraling thing, landing <sighs> at Zeskiel's feet. Damn it. <laughs> and it will be Echo's turn. Um, 
Echoes witness does he he witnesses all this, right? Yeah. Like, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna turn over to Zeskiel and be like, "Hey, look, the cat guy just saved you." <laughs> and, then, and then I'm gonna use uh ice knife on. How high is uh, this one? The one like and on the. It's like an additional like thirty feet up above Azaka. Thirty feet above. Yeah. Okay, so what is the range of ice knife? Knife is. I think it's pretty good. I think I I, I looked before. 60? I think it was sixty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So am I good for that? From, yeah. from where I am. Okay. Cool. Then I'm gonna yeah eat that. Ugh. All right. Whatever. <laughs> I shouldn't have said yeah eat. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, that hits it. Oh, that hits it. Yeah. Oh, oh, I thought it was a miss. Sorry. No, no, you hit it. All right. Yeah, eat. It takes seven points of piercing damage as your ice knife strikes it. Do I get a chance to respond? Or is that when it's my turn? <laughs> you can make a quick response. Before you respond, I'm going to run away. No I haven't taken any hit points damage. I'm <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. I, I'm gonna stay with the group right here, and then um, okay. let me just double check to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. I have a shield. Yeah, I'm just gonna end it right there. Okay. All right. Undril uses her spiritual weapon, as is her as is her want. Oh, yeah, hitting it for nine points of force damage. This is some rigged. This is rigged. <laughs> she then, like, lifts one of her hands, and she just kind of, like, pulls down, and a, a beam of spiritual fire, some radiant light comes down from the heaven as she casts, like, you know, something that actually she could do, like, at range, which is uh, her sacred flame. It's not going to do a lot of damage, if even if it hits the thing, but the thing is going to make a... Uh, Deck save, it makes it, yeah. So she just completely misses it with the with the fire and wishes that she had just stuck with readying an action. Poor thing. Yeah, that one's dead. It doesn't do anything except for to continue to bleed. This one's going to swoop back down at Barian, attempting to bite him again. It bites you for 15 points of damage. Barian goes down. Oh, man. The double crits. And it swoops back up 30 feet. I think you should have given it disadvantage. Hmm? I think you should have gave it disadvantage. (laughs) You're right. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of spooked. Its buddies are dropping. It has disadvantage. You take 15 points of damage. It looked distracted as it did that. Does he uh, scream out in pain or anything to let the rest of us know? Very likely not. Okay. He just goes down. (laughs) <laughs> he just goes. Eh. <laughs> He's probably knocked backwards, so maybe five feet slid on his back. Just kind of at the feet of uh, Revan now. Well, hello there. <laughs> he doesn't reply. <laughs> <laughs> God, <laughs> I know. I just—it's instinct for me. This other one comes swooping down at Azaka. Swooping very bad. Yeah. Swoops back up. Rebin. Um, I have a spell. And I wonder, is it a bonus action? Mm, nope, it's an action. Fuck! Sorry, buddy. Hi. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna have to leave you on the ground for a second. Uh, Revan's gonna shoot an arrow at the uh, Terra Patera da- Donny. Patera Donny. Yep, that thing. That he has hunters marked. Nice. Nice. 13? 13. Yeah. 13 points of damage. Bada bing, bada boom. There's blood spraying all over the place as it's flapping about. It's not dead, but there's blood spraying everywhere. And then I'm going to move Onyx over here next to me and unconscious homeboy. 
Sure. Uh, I think that'll end my turn. Okay. Azaka Storm Fang raises her longbow, taking another couple of shots at that Terranon. 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 She hits it once for eight points. Hits it again for nine. It goes sailing off like, you know, like a like a downed plane. Oh. Crashing into the dirt as it dies. I'm glad I started something here. All right. And it will be Iku's turn. Well, let me remove the hex from a spell hex. I'm going to bonus action move it to this guy then. Mm -hmm. Constitution is what I will do. And then I will blast. Or hit 13. <clears throat> Which I believe is a hit. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's a hit. For 17. What's that look like? Uh, same thing as the last one. If he's up in the air, just poof, kind mm -hmm. of blows it apart and then it uh, falls down. Yeah, that happens. It falls down. Barry, and give me a death saving throw. No, there's the one on the bottom right here. Oh, yeah, there's right. one left. Oh, yeah, there is one left. Yeah. All right, Barry, and give me a death saving throw. Nice. Okay. Proud of you, buddy. Zeskiel. Uh, I would take the moment to turn to my party members and be like, anybody down? And then I would see Barry and yes. be like, well, I can't do anything else here. So I'm going to walk up mm -hmm. and uh, pump the last five of my lay on hands into them. Nice. Five HP. Yeet. And uh oh, gotta go back to the chat. <laughs> oh. End of my turn. Okay. Yeah, this last one bleeding all over the place. All bloody. All oh, bloody. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's really just like angered and stuff. And it's looking at it's like it grew up with these things in their nest. And it's like really just so mad about the whole situation. So it is going to swoop down. Makes sense. Bite her for three points of damage and swoop back up. Oh, makes sense. This cat man. Go away, cat man. Cat man is going to take a couple of shots with his short bow. Nice. Yeah, he hits it twice. That thing. It is over for that thing. <laughs> the first arrow catches it in the throat, and as it's falling, the second arrow just like sends it like back like 10 feet as it dies. Killed nice. it with style. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Hell but yeah. he was kind of just showing off by shooting the second one to hit it as it dies. <clears throat> he shoots him rapidly. He goes... <laughs> yep. He's pretty, he's pretty good with that stuff. I need to get to that point. Oh, dude, I don't have any of my books to know what I can do. Lord. Let's not level up for a second, guys. No, I, mean, <laughs> I don't, I don't think be. we're gonna. We probably got a little bit. Yeah, there's probably a little bit. Where's the, uh, where, there's the music. Stop it. All right, yeah. You, got, you guys have beat these things. Nice. Oh my god, I did not die. Congrats. Uh, Onyx is going to turn towards Echoes. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Onyx is going to charge 20 feet in pounds. At me? Of course. Who else would he pounce at? He's got to kill you somehow. Okay. <laughs> I accept the pounce. I guess. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> I'm not being serious. I was, oh, okay. I was okay. joking because you're still alive. I was saying. Oh, okay, okay. Onyx I, I thought you were being serious. I was like, Onyx I guess... is going to tear your throat out and kill you. I kind of thought you were being I'm... serious too. I was like, I guess I'm dead. <laughs> like, on, I, Onyx <laughs> savage, bro. Onyx is a savage. What do you mean? Um, He's going for Aiku next. Can, <laughs> can, uh, can I look around and see if there's anything worth taking or ripping apart or keeping from these beasts? Well, let's try and figure out what this cat guy's up to. Nope, I want to know what's on these beasts. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, Spe specifically the one that hurt me the most. I mean, it's got like 
you know um wings. wings yeah wings it's got like little feet it's got claws it's got like a beak. <laughs> there's teeth inside that beak all right i'll i'll leave it alone i was gonna thinking to myself how weird would it be to rip these eyes out and keep them but then little, i guess i'll just i just won't do that and Barian, pick one here's a um here, here's a here's a thing for you all right where's Barian? Oh no. Yeah. That attack that brought you down is like a uh, messed up your elbow, severing muscles. Oh, and oh, this is perfect. Yeah. I yeah. have can I use it's less would lesser restoration fix this? Mm -hmm. It would actually, yes. Fuck yeah, I took this perfectly. <laughs> All right. I'm I'm walking up to uh uh very <coughs> You see me healing him. Okay, is is does is that gonna be okay? I point to, point to his elbow. He'll kind of look over to and realize that it's all messed up. Now that you pointed it out, I don't think it will. Ah, this... I'm gonna poke him in the arm and just to test it, see the... if this guy feels any pain. <laughs> he does. The bird lands on your shoulder and pecks at your head. <laughs> Perfect. Um, he is not a robot. <laughs> if, if I may, and I kind of reach out my hand and asking for the elbow. Uh, I give me your fucking if, elbow. <laughs> if, if you think you can do anything with it. And I cast lesser restoration on that shit. Yeah. Cool. Cool beans. And then I jump around and start dancing in circles because I did something useful. <laughs> Berrien will, will look at his elbow, kind of do some motions with his arm, hand, and whatnot, and uh, look to you. Thank you. I appreciate this. I ignore you completely and continue on dancing. Reasonable. Have a good day. <laughs> the cat man approaches. I stop dancing. Does he say anything? Yeah, he just stands there awkwardly. <clears throat> <clears throat> Makes sense. He's socially awkward as Barry. <laughs> Best friends. Um. Does anyone say anything to him? Who are you? There it is. <laughs> huh. I'm bag of birds. I'm sorry. You did you want see your a bag of birds? <laughs> bag of birds. Yes, there's a, there's a bunch. There is a bunch of bird things here. If you want to put some in the bag, that's on you. Is that his name or is that what he wants? I don't know. Is I'm that your name power. or is that what you want? That's my name. I think that's his name. That's my name. I've been following you for a couple of days. It's an odd group you have here. It's very odd for you to call us odd after saying you were following us for a couple of days. That, that well, you seemed normal. interesting, and you were heading back to Port Nianzaru, but I wasn't sure if I could trust you, so I decided I would just, you know, hang back a bit. I figured yeah. if I got into trouble, I would yell for help, and maybe you'd hear me and help me out, and I figured if you ran into trouble, I would kind of run up and maybe help you out. Dang, oh. it is super interesting. I was not able to spot you with my 20 perception check. Well, I was pretty far back, and... Uh, <laughs> It wasn't the immediate danger, and I rolled a pretty good stealth. No one was able to pick me up uh, a couple of days ago with their uh, passive perception. What what is what is this rolling that you two are talking about? I don't understand. I think it's slang. Is, is, I just don't understand the world anymore. You know, it's how I roll. I feel like even though it's there only it been a couple of days, I've just been out of touch with the world for weeks. You know what I mean? I always feel like I'm out of touch with the world. That's a different thing. <clears throat> Sir, what is it that you want? Nothing. I just thought it would be rude to just wander off, like, you know, after after getting involved in your thing. I mean, if you want me to leave, I can just go. Wait, wait, he helped us. I think it's I might you. take one of I might take one of these things with me though. I might eat it later. 
Feel free. You can eat these. Why don't you take a bag of them? These aren't birds. How big are these? I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're like medium size. So let's say they're like uh, the size of large dogs with wings. Okay. That's terrifying. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're still, you know. That's what you got. <laughs> um. Uh, Echoes is looking back and forth to see what anyone's gonna say. He he picks he picks this one up and he's just like, "Well, bye." <laughs> and he throws Should it over his back and starts walking away. Should we ask him where he's going? Maybe he can come with us. He did help. He did. It would be rude to. It would be rude not to offer him at least a friendship. Yeah, go make friends, Barian. Oh, but I wouldn't want to leave you either. He could join us. Sir, sir Bag of Birds, do wait yeah. a moment. Sure. How would you like to accompany us? Uh, probably side by side. Oh. That is a good manner in which to go about it. Where are you headed again? I was heading down towards Port Nine, Zaru. I've got some friends down there. Why not travel with us? Really? You'd have me? Of course. That's great. I'm going to take another one of these birds then. <laughs> and we can you... have it for supper if you'd like. They're not birds. No, they're not. Onyx is half half-heartedly eating one of them. Don't take that one. No, no, I'll leave that one be. Is that smart? Well, if we can cook these, maybe we should get more. And then I'm going to start picking up one as well. Uh, how many have been picked up and eaten in total? Well, two of them have been picked up. I don't think one anyone's eating. Up. So there's this one. three. That that would be the one. Oh, okay. okay. I'll, I'll walk towards here and pick one, up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm just going to grab the the rest of them. And you know what I'm going to do with the rest of them? If you I'm throw them at me, I'm going to be pissed. I'm a t- Don't leave I'm a that t- question open-ended for me, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tie him with some rope that we have plenty of. We'll put him over. Oh, I have rope, too. I'll tie him uh, as well. And then I can't as pick we're it going, up. I'm going to take little bits of the webbing, and I'm going like, to ball it up, and I'm going to throw it at Echoes. You son of a bitch. I wasn't going to because I totally forgot about that, and then you said something. Yeah, I'm going to pick up this one and just kind of... I, I don't think I can carry it, so I'm going to mm-hmm. tie it up with my rope and then tie the other end to my quarterstaff and then kind of just drag it along. I really wasn't going to throw any at you. I was just going to make a joke about our rope, but then you had to say something. So now there's one wing that has just been shredded until it was pieces that I could throw at you and thrown at you consistently. It's so rude. It's your fault. What time of day? It's it's evening. You guys were getting ready to uh, to sleep. You know, you were starting we're to look. Camp. Yeah, you, were, you haven't set up camp yet. You were looking for a good place to do that. Does this place look like a good place to do that? Yeah, it doesn't look like a terrible place. Mm. Oh, okay. Um, should we set up? Should we set up camp here? We'll need mm. to do so quickly. Or all of the light leaves the sky. Six applications. Five, we six, can uh, we can help bag of birds get to Port Nairn Zaru. How many times did After we this? or how many days did we start using the insect repellent before we got to the fort? Oh shit, dude! I don't fucking remember. That is a very good question. I used five of mine, and then that was every day. So we didn't. You guys didn't started using it time. around three or four days in. So at most, you guys have used three. Well, no. If we used them every day from when we came to the port where we are now, we, did it. we didn't use it them. It would every be five day. days. Oh, oh, including the five days. Yeah. The five days we just traveled. Yeah. And then the five days we traveled from the port Naranzaru to the fort to begin with, a total of ten travel days with insects. I'm using five now. I'm trying to think, did I use one or two before? So that would be six or seven applications. How many is in one of these 
Jugs? 36 applications. 20 total. Okay. <clears throat> anyway. Um Yeah, just starting to set up camp. Okay, yeah. Bag of birds starts a We talked to some people. Uh what were their names? I'll look. Uh was it Bag of Mice? No. Flask of Wine and River Mist. So I'll ask him as we're setting up names. camp. Um What are these fucking names, dude? Baxi. Mm -hmm. ah. And I would just, yeah, I'd be like, <coughs> are your friends the, uh, are you friends with Flask of Wine and River Mist? Oh, I know them, yeah. Yep, I know them. You know them, but th those aren't the friends that you're going to visit in the port. No, no, but I, if they're there, I may stop and see them. What do you know? Can you tell us anything about them? Um, they're real cool. Um, they're very playful. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're awesome. I mean, what sort of thing did you want to know? I mean, they're, if you're looking about information, I know they serve as guides. They're the best guides in uh, Port Nianzaro, I can tell you that. Does uh, Azaka look like... <laughs> I look at Azaka. I do yeah, the she... same. She kind of like smirks and like rolls her eyes, but I mean, yeah. she doesn't say anything to like, you know. Yeah. Maybe catch it and tabaxi, take care of tabaxi, apparently. Mm -hmm. um, we had just talked to them um, outside the tavern one night and we're just curious. I was curious if you knew who they were and what you knew about them. Yeah, no, they're awesome. Yeah, Good to know. Awesome. Meow, meow, meow. Yeah. Um, they're the best. Where, meow, meow. where were you? Uh, where were you before this? You said you <coughs> followed us for a few days. What were you doing out in the jungle by yourself? I've just been on walkabout. I've just, you know, I sometimes I'll go out into the jungle. I'll do a little hunting, do a little fishing, catch anything, Hunt, kill anything. Just a cold. <laughs> <laughs> That's unfortunate. Yeah, it's been raining for five days. It has. Six now, yeah. Was it still raining? Mm-hmm. Look at my thing. Yeah, occasional light rain, yeah. It's not raining as bad as it had been. It's occasional light rain today. It would be nice for it to let up, that's for sure. But I've heard that the fish bite a little bit more when it's raining. That's true. They think it's more insects landing in the water or something like that. It could be this. It could be fires. You know, I don't like fire. Some mean kids once, when I when I was a kitten, tried to light my tail on fire. Oh, bag of nails helped me out then. Chased oh, him away. God, I can now understand why you hate this race. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. Not yet. Uh, <laughs> it's only just begun. Did you grow up on Chol? I did. You obviously like it if you've never left. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, I don't go deep into the jungle like those other fellas do. I mean, I mostly stick to the northern end here. You know, I'll hang out at like a, you know, like here, Port Nianzaru, sometimes, uh, you know, I'll go over to Fort Bal Balerian and, like, you know, see if there anyone needs any, uh, you know, any, any rabbits or something, if I find any. Oh. I try not to go south, though. It's crazy dangerous down there. We've heard. Oh, I ain't no bag of nails. Is that who you're going to visit? Bag of nails? No, I haven't seen bag of nails in quite a while. Is it possible he got hammered? Oh, he may God. have gotten hammered. He was quite the drinker. Oh, I'm so upset. When was the last time you saw him? Uh, it's probably been two or three years. Oh. Hopefully he got a tetanus shot. <laughs> Where was he going the last time you saw him? You haven't seen him for three years. 
Oh, I mean, I've just been, you know, I've been wandering about the northern end of Charlotte. It's just been three years since I've seen him. He, for all I know, he could be in Port Nianzaro now. Okay. It's been a little while since I've seen him. You know, I mean, sometimes, you know, people come and they go. Well, um, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Gonna uh, go back and probably help uh, Seskiel start to set up the tent that we have. Yeah, and he's he's starting to like skin and gut like the uh, like a bat bag of birds is. He's he's uh, skinning and gutting a couple of these uh, birds to like you know cook over the fire. I thought you said they weren't birds. No, <laughs> bag of birds says he wasn't birds. <laughs> There's a difference. All right, so aside from like eating dinner and making camp, is there anything else? Is there anything else we would like? Yeah, you guys would like to do like, you know, this evening. Nope. Keep I moving would like, on. I'd like to look for herbs. Okay, yeah. Give me a um Give me give me a give me a nature check. Isn't that right, Alex? Say what? I can't hear you when you mumble. You mumble Ath rapper. Athalas. <laughs> Athalas. Yeah. Also known as King's Foil. Mm. The weed, bro. It's weed. Grows around these parts. Probably not. <laughs> a, little, a little too humid. I'm literally quoting the movie at this point. <sighs> God. Damn it, Mitchell. You do find another one of those riot roots. Yeah. Cool. That's it for me. Okay. Ooh, more roots? Nope. The healing ones? The, but the ones that might get you poisoned? Yeah, you can only take more than... Do I know that, by the way? Uh, you can only take one a day? Yeah, I'm going to say that, like, you know, may maybe, like, when you were checking it out, like, you gave it, like, a little lick or something, and you were just like, oh, yeah, this would be bad if you took too much of it. Okay. Or something. Uh, I mean, yeah. Like four. Yeah, you should have four now. Yeah, nah, I'm just going to hold on to them for now. Sleep, wake up. Head on our way. Yeah, at some point overnight, the rain turned into heavy rain. You can only see about 150 feet ahead of you. Rain catcher out. Rain catcher. Makes sense. Rain catcher. Yeah, but it's really, uh, it's really coming down this morning. It probably woke you guys up last night. Ooh, Ooh. that's ominous and freaky. Yeah. Bombing, actually, I might fall asleep. I don't fall asleep to that. To me, that's <laughs> actually kind of like the opposite. I would be awake. Like real life, you or Echoes? No, real life me. Oh. Echoes will fall asleep to anything. <laughs> fair, fair. He he does do that. Yeah, bag of birds looks a little bit miserable about this rain, and he <laughs> takes a poncho out of his uh, out of his small pack, starts unfolding. From it's inside my tent, I say pleb. <laughs> Echoes is outside in the middle with his mouth open looking straight up. <laughs> yeah, it's raining real heavy. That's not good, but let's go back on a tent. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and flash off one of my uh, undead sensors. Mm -hmm. mm. Smart. Yeah, let's see what your undead sensor tells you. I can't remember the range. I think it's like 60 feet, probably. It might not be. Um, divine sense, 60 feet. I know celestial fiend or undead. Mm -hmm. There's none of the above. Perfect. Then I go to sleep. With, with, with the possible exception of the raven. Hmm. Well, no, it's Faye, right? Your your Raven would be Faye. Your uh, mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Yep, that would be from V. Yep, yep, yep. From the favorites. Good yeah. So... Fay Ravens. Fay Ravens. Yeah, go ahead. Dude, come on. So after, like, getting your camp up and, like, drinking your water and stuff, I mean, Echoes might want to tilt his head back forward and no, not for a close little his more. mouth or he might drown, but... uh, <laughs> He's still there. And then until he starts, like, gagging a little bit, and then he goes, like, oh, right, okay. And then he goes okay. to and, and you guys have okay. uh, you guys like pack your stuff up, you get back out on the road. I would like Rebin to give me a perception check during the day today. Damn it. You guys ready to, you guys ready to die? Always. Uh, Aren't you a ranger? <clears throat> yeah, that is that is what he is. Hold on, I'm sorry. Did you just ask if I was a ranger as if that mattered to my luck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not oh. high enough of a level to have luck yet. I don't even think it's a ranger thing. Six. That's what it was last time. Oh my god, did you do this on purpose? I'm just kidding. <laughs> if anyone has anything to help out, uh, you know what? Here, here, give here. me if you have something to give me advantage, now is the time. Here you go. No, God, why'd you waste that? It's fine. I don't so want to die. We don't die. <laughs> last time we almost died, and the only reason we survived was because Cat Lady turned into a fucking tiger. Yeah, so we would survive again. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong screen here. I think. We don't know if she can turn back into a tiger. Well, my That's last true. <laughs> you don't know the. Well, I, none of us know that, but. That's what I'm saying. No, I'm saying we don't know the prereqs. I yeah, just I mean, don't want to die. I'm with you here. Everything, everything seems pretty, pretty okay. I mean, yeah, there's, there's no trouble. But you, instead of like you know walking into bushes and stuff when you're supposed to be like keeping an eye out for stuff, yeah, I mean you're just like you know. <laughs> yeah, you, nothing happens. You guys that evening reach the uh, reach the coast. You guys reach the port where that little ferry is that had uh, originally taken you back from Port Nianzaro. It is not there at the moment, so you would need to make camp for the night. There is like a couple of like small shelters, like lean tos and stuff. There's even some like you know like scraps of rations left behind and things of that nature. I'm not saying that you would need to use those, but Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you know those things are there. Let me put you back on the Chult map. I didn't realize you guys weren't on the Chult map. Yeah, so you guys are like here now, back across mm -hmm. from Port Nianzar. Right, right, right. Um. So that was a rest, by the way, right? So we have everything back to normal. Yeah, the, from Long from rest. the night before. Yeah, oh, that wanted was to make sure. Rest. Yep, everything is uh, everything is back. By the way, for every day that we travel, I'd like to just, I'm just going to let you know now, I want to search for herbs. Okay. Smart. Um, yeah, I think if we got to make camp and wait for the, the ferry or whatever, um, we'll do that, I think. Is Bag of Birds still with us? Yeah, he's still with you. Hold on. Yeah, he, he sets himself up in one of the little lean-tos, and he's just like, oh, it's so good to be out of the rain. Don't like that rain. He takes his poncho off and hangs it up to dry out. Such an interesting species. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Robin, why don't you give me another... Um, I don't have another card, dude. Don't fuck don't. this up. <laughs> Give me another perception check. God, fuck. <sighs> you just want us, he wants us to die, guys. That's what it is. I need combat. All right. Yeah, All right. yeah right? Like, I want to fight things. Uh, can I use my gain disadvantage card? <laughs> uh, you can also suck this thing. It's called my dick. <laughs> it's too small and full of ash. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Where is? Oh. <laughs> I was waiting for a, uh, a boom. The, but instead, the I too, got a, oh. the, too, <laughs> boom. the too the too small part is a good insult, but I don't know how it'd be full of ash. He's, I don't know. You're, 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 you're weird, bro. You're weird. <laughs> All right, so thirteen. Are we dead? Uh, no, he does see. Um, at at some point during the night, a beached um, whale. <laughs> At first, um, you're at first you think it could have been a beached whale. 
Oh, but God. Like out, out in the water, like not far from where you guys are kind of set up, like this, um, about largely about the size of like a bear. Like so a big this, bear. You should go swimming. I'm this, asleep. This really big turtle kind of like, um, oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, it kind of like comes up. You see him like swimming around, like, uh, comes up on the ground and just kind of like starts like sniffing around. I think we'll pet the turtle. You're asleep. Damn it. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna watch it very carefully with uh, right. while petting Onyx. Okay. Wait. Onyx is my go-to de-stress now. I need yeah, after to... after a few minutes of sniffing around, it just kind of like wanders back into the water, and you can hear it like kind of splashing away. See, you guys, if I had Onyx when we fought those lizard people, I never would have pulled my bow on them. I would have just pet him and we would be fine. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the night passes uneventfully. Hmm. Lit. The rain seems to have let up a little bit. It's still raining, though, so, you know, rain catcher life. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Rain catchers. Right. And it often rains at night. It's like mostly a surprise. Not a surprise, but like, you know, it may or may not rain during the day, but usually sometime after midnight, it rains for at least a little while. Mm -hmm. It's like Hawaii. Yeah. I can guarantee it's going to rain every day. But a couple hours after you guys have like set up your, uh, you know, taken down camp and stuff, like, yeah, the first ferry, like, you know, kind of like pulls, out, pulls into a little dock area there. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, jump jump on that ferry. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. It'll be a silver piece of piece, please. Oh, yeah, our cat friend has it. He's like, what? He's like, he looks like he's like <laughs> checking his pockets like furiously, hoping he has like a silver piece, which he does. <laughs> I ran on the ferry before anything. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm sorry, guys. I don't have enough for everyone. I barely have enough for me. I feel terrible now. No, no, no. It's it is all right. I I will take it this time. Oh, I feel bad. I have eight silver pieces. How many of us are there? There's five. Five plus six two, of us. seven. Seven. Yeah, I mean, like Azaka yeah. and um, yeah, Azaka and uh. Undro, you know, they, they pay their own way. Okay, so that's five. Yeah. five mm -hmm. of us. I'll pay for IQ and myself. Okay. Then I will pay for Rebin, myself, and a bag of birds. Get fucked, Echoes. Okay. <laughs> Echoes is already on the ship. What are you talking about? He still has to pay. Pretty sure a bag of birds <laughs> paid for him. He's like, uh, are you sure? Wait, wait, what happened now? Now it's confused. <laughs> oh, wait, so did no one pay for me? Apparently not. All right, I guess. You're just, you're just on the boat now. <laughs> am, I, am I just on the boat? Like, in all the confusion, yeah, I'm going to say that the guy probably missed the fact. That <laughs> Yoink! <laughs> <laughs> he, he got fooled. I'm old old man, so I say something. Hey, I... Old man turns into a bear just sitting on the ship when the guy turns around. No, like, I'm going to turn into a rat and just hide. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. They use rats as food on ships. That's how the bubonic plague happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the uh, the ferry continues, like, uh, it leaves, like, after waiting a little bit to see if anyone else is going to show up. He's got, like, a little schedule that he keeps. And then he sets sail back to Port Nianzaru, and he reaches there, and you guys are back. Oh, Port God. Woohoo. This, oh, this yeah. place again. Do we have, okay, this is out of care. Do we have any business to be here? Uh, yeah, no. Nope. We're going to party for the night. We're walking through. Yeah, I'd rather, I vote we walk through. Drop yeah. off the cat and move on. <laughs> oh, you mean like don't even stay here? Just go out into the jungle? I mean, unless there's something. I Unless guess you guys need I, I to guess buy we'll supplies. Like, yay, yay, we're here again. No, we can we can go straight ahead. How much was a healing potion again? Sixty. Yeah, so um, 
something like that. Yeah. You might be able to persuade her. Yes, I'm. Her. I'm pretty persuasive. Fucking a, dude. Yeah, bag bag of a uh, bag of birds is like. Well, I'm gonna go find my friend. It was real nice meeting you guys. Goodbye. It was good to meet you too. Good travels. Good luck. Thank you. Good travels, warm sands, and all that. <laughs> I guess while we're here, is there anything mm -hmm. notable happening around us? Um, no, yeah. it just seems like, uh, it's, I mean, it's still, there's still some light rain on top of like, you know, this, this city noises and stuff. I'm about um, to call for a lift. Hmm. <laughs> I'd like to shoot him when the lift shows up. <laughs> I'm going to shoot him with ice blade. Um, but yeah, but yeah if you guys wanted to go to, um, that lady again or something, you could absolutely do that. Hmm. It was just for a standard uh, healing potion with 60 gold, if I remember right. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. hmm. Is it worth it? If we're going straight, straight to, maybe, yeah. I mean, we could spend the day and let Aiku over there make a healing potion. Echoes? Sorry. You're no, gonna... you're going to do it too. Our names are, names are from, ah, oh, I can't make nothing. Am I gonna use any of my herbs if I? I can make... shit in a vial if you want, but. <laughs> Do you convince somebody is that is a potion of youth and then we will uh, sell it to some people? But dog. yeah, you, you're gonna use you're gonna use like your um. Most of the ingredients you have, not counting the um, Herb the riot fruit, yeah. Does it, do I mean, I'll, I'll bring it up. Um, so, guys, before we venture off, I found out that I could make or attempt to make a really, really cool drink. However, it's going to take us, or at least it's going to take me at least, I'm estimating and guessing, a whole day. What does the drink do? I don't know, but I I looked at the pamphlet, <laughs> and it it seemed, it seemed pretty important. It, it it looked similar. Wait, I can't remember. Did did you use your potion, Castle? Uh, yeah. When we almost died. And did anyone see you using that potion? You were all unconscious. Okay, so fuck. All right. It, and I would have told you by now that we used it. Okay, so okay. It looks like the potion the or actually I fuck. It, I don't know what it does, but the pamphlet says it's pretty important, and it looks it looks pretty cool. I show Aiku a picture of the, <laughs> the, of the potion. You see that? Do I need to make like? Would I just instantly know? Yeah, that's a healing potion. Yeah, I I would say that like I mean, the instructions like seem to be like you know like mentioning pretty things obvious. like this. Yeah, like yeah. making a healing obvious, potion. Yeah, oh, yeah right. <clears throat> okay, so it's. It's a potion of healing. Oh, okay, cool. I don't know how you <laughs> didn't know that, but do do we want to waste uh, or wait a whole day for that, or should we leave? It might stop raining tomorrow, but I don't care. I, as I'm asking you guys. I mean, I, I it seems like I rummaged through the materials. I could make about what one you said? Yeah, one. I can make about one. I vote we push forward to Camp Vengeance. Hmm. I'm okay with whatever. I'm just throwing out the option there to Sounds make... Sounds like you're the tiebreaker. Me? Yeah. Wait, what's everyone else's vote? They haven't voted yet, but if you don't care, that means you're a tiebreaker. Okay, now I'll be the tiebreaker then. What does everyone else think? Uh, the extra healing would be nice to have. Well, how much gold do we have? I I have a fair amount on my person. As do I. I can't count. We knew <laughs> we knew that. Here, hand me your I'll count it for you. Here you go. I just give you all my gold. Yeah, I keep it. <laughs> how much gold do you have? <laughs> all right, sorry. All right, seven. <laughs> Seventeen. Seventeen? Okay. Yeah. All right, so um, I like rummage through it and I look through mine. I said, um, "Well, I have sixty-five gold, 
So, I believe, Revan, you said one healing potion was 60 here. Do we have, uh, do we have enough for a second one if we were to Where did my gold go? Don't. <laughs> you still yeah. have the map, don't you? What map? That depends. How much does everybody have? I have, I have 13 gold to myself. I have 57, if I, if I remember my last cal uh, calculation. Um, uh, Jesus. Math, 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 math. I have 15 points of healing. <laughs> what, what about monetary value coins? By the way, That's just crazy. as an addition, um, I found these plants. I pull out the Roth root. Mm -hmm. And I think, if I remember right, I lick one. These should be <laughs> that one is yours. These should be able to help everyone. But I'm getting a little stomach ache. I wouldn't take more than one. So I can give each of you one of these roots. Um I still don't know where my gold is. What was it called? The Rotha root. It uh it gives a temporary hit points uh oh, two D four temp hit points. Yep. You give each of us one? Yeah, I have four. I can give each of you one. I can turn into a bear, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Look okay. at me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Look at me. After, like, taking some time to think about it and, like, counting on my hands, um, we have enough gold for two healing potions. If we want to stay the night, we can have three on our way out, plus the Roth root that Echoes has acquired, which it seems... There might be a lot out in the jungle, so we might I would be okay with this. I will keep looking for these said plants. However, we would be losing a day. It's just another day, but what I would be okay if this is a reassurance of healing. More healing would be a good idea. I believe I can even help us in procuring the healing potion. I, I do have a way with the with the deals. Okay. Well here, and I hand in my gold. And uh, is that my gold? Uh, Both, yeah. No. I'll take. Okay. I'll take the gold with me. I'll go with Revan. Yeah, I, I hand it. To, I hand it to Varian the gold that I have, which is a total of sixty-five. All right. I'll so I would 65. give. I would give you sixty. For the, I will for add the sixty then. Um, and you have you have fifty. You have you gave you sixty. You have seven. I'm going to give you another three so that we have 120 to buy two potions. I also have a beetle. <laughs> we do not need the beetle. We don't. Yeah. We do, uh, do you have the map, Echoes? What map? <laughs> the map of Cholt that we gave you. Rummage through, rummage through, rummage through. Yes. <laughs> if you have to think and look for it, oh. then I want to give it to somebody else. I'm just going to be completely on. No, I whisper Halina in his ear. This is so he doesn't take the Charter of Exploration. You really don't want this beetle? We don't. No, you do not want this beetle. I like the beetle. Varian, <laughs> nope, nope, do you nope. need any assistance on the healing potion, or do you think you can... Uh, oh, Revan was going to go with him. Oh, Revan, you're going with. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Well, why don't uh, we grab a room here at the uh, the tavern we stayed at before? Hey, Revan. Not Revan, I'm sorry. Hey, um, Varian. Yes. Do you think this beetle is worth anything? Varian will take a look at it. I'm going to stand behind Echoes so that only Barian can see me, and I'm going to shake my head. It's fairly meaty. You may be able to find somebody, but I doubt it's worth more than a couple silver. I shake my head even harder. By the way, is this beetle alive or dead? Um, <laughs> it depends it on what... You found it alive, like... Uh... Dope. All right, it's alive. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, if I think I want to keep him, I will. He, I will name him Meat Boy, and I put him on my shoulder. <laughs> Way to go, Meat Boy. All right. So then I will go and start making the potion. It will take some time. Okay. While you guys scurry off and do what you must. Well, come with us. We'll get a room. And, and then I, I just start running potion. off into the streets. I grab him as he starts to run. <laughs> what the potion? <laughs> <laughs> I imagine he's like tugging super hard to keep running, so I let him go. <laughs> and then and I fall forward. Yep. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna strength pick him up. Are you gonna resist? No. Okay, I just pick him up like a little child Ooh. and uh carry him to the 
if I remember correctly, Thundering Lizard. Yes, the Thundering Lizard. At this point, I think... Uh, no, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Echoes is not resisting. He's kind of zoned out and just looking at his beetle. Come there along, Aiku. Coming. We can't have you getting attacked in the middle of the street again. <laughs> yeah. This... Oh, I remember that. I don't think you do. <laughs> mean. I slap him on the cheek. You, you don't remember that. Which cheek? <laughs> Your face. Damn, all right. <laughs> Would have enjoyed it otherwise. Eh? Uh, so whatever the necessary cost for, what, three hotel rooms? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Should we be booked through Javago? Dude. We'll say two, two hotel rooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, uh, um, three people in one, two in the other. And we'll let uh, yeah, be like two... and Azaka know that we'll meet them at the southern gate in the morning. Okay, yeah. It's going to be like two gold for all of you to stay there for the two rooms. And um... Conven I look over at IQ. Convenient you don't have any more gold. <laughs> it's weird how the world works sometimes. I'm going to pay the man the two gold. Can I? Can you let me down? <laughs> no, I'm still holding on to him. <laughs> I started trying to make the potion while I'm being held. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Did you know who Echoes reminds me of? Me. No. Oh, okay. Um, the, uh, <laughs> uh, it, from the Hobbit movie, Radagast. That's who yeah. he reminds oh. me of. I thought uh, that's literally who he was going off of. Rally. Oh, is that the brown wizard? Yeah. The brown. Mm -hmm. I guess the brown. Oh shit! I'm, I'm honestly, I'm just trying to think of the dumbest shit possible and just do it. <laughs> well, congrats, you got. Radagast comes off cooler in the book. I mean, sure. he doesn't have as much art in the book, but I mean, yeah, yeah, he just comes yeah. off like a regular druid. While in the movies, he was kind of just like, man, I'm crazy. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I let yeah. birds shit in my hair all day and build yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking little critters live in my beard <laughs> and insects in my mouth. Yeah, that's disgusting. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to constantly just keep asking him, can I, Can you put me down? I'm going to take him up to the room and put him in the room for Barian and, and Rebin. Rebin <laughs> and sit him down there and say, get to work. Okay. Immediately, I start just taking vials and shit and just start throwing things and start making that one potion. Okay. I let my beetle roam around freely. <laughs> All right. So what you're going to do... Um, is you're gonna roll for your oh. herbalism kit? Oh fuck! Okay. Um. Oh whoa! Oh, that was you. Okay. That was me. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, no. Um, so when it asks you when when you click on it and it asks you what um what you're gonna use, you're gonna use your wisdom. It's gonna gotcha. be a uh, thing. Oh, boom! Yeah, yeah. You're pretty sure that by morning you will have yourself a potion of healing. As I'm doing this, I dab. Okay. <laughs> nice. <coughs> Nervous twitch. <laughs> While you start your project, old man, do you need food or anything? Uh, yes, please. What do you want? I would like Beetle? a plate. No. Oh. How dare you? Meat Boy has sensitive. I would like a plate of raw onions with a side of two celery sticks. What the fuck? Give me three silver. I have no money. Well. I have some rope. I don't want your rope. I have a map. Give me the find map. Find the map. Find Wait. the map. Find the map. Find I, want, I want this map. Give me the map. It's an insurance policy just in case it's not. Am I going to get the map back? If the meal is too expensive. Okay, I take fine. the map. I give him the okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what does that cost? What does what cost? The, the oh, meal, the, 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 like the, a couple of the like, raw like a onion and the two celery sticks. Yeah, like a copper piece. Okay, I'll give you a copper <laughs> piece. I mean, that's right. mostly because they're just like um. It's probably yeah, I guess a copper it. piece. I mean, that's the smallest unit of currency I have. You're just looking for garnish really yep. <laughs> you know make it two onions in four celery sticks 
<laughs> okay, yeah, that, that'd that be worth the copper piece, probably. Perfect. You know, because it's going to come on a plate. Yes, I'll take that. All right. Not it's going to come on a plate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I take That's that. really what you're playing, paying for, is the presentation. <laughs> I take that plate back to old man, set it in the corner, and then mm-hmm. close the door and watch the door just in case anybody tries to get in or he tries mat? to get out. Do your work. I want the mat. I take, uh, I, I eat one raw onion whole, just mm-hmm. eat it. And then I, I break the celery apart into little pieces and spread it along the bed so the beetle will eat it. And mm-hmm. I notice that there's another onion. So I take that, chop it up into four quarters, and then mm-hmm. put it in my pocket. <laughs> okay. Like to imagine that the beetle is actually a red spotted lizard and this is holes. <laughs> <laughs> and then I uh, just get back to work. Your family's been cursed for six generations. In, uh, in a room that's enclosed and smells now like on onion. Yeah. yeah. It Perfect. Does. <laughs> what's uh what's Barian and Rebin doing? Let's see if they can get the uh, 60 gold. Oh, right. I forgot. I need to mark off three gold because I now have only ten. That was great. That was probably the best roleplay I've done. <laughs> was it? That was it pretty was good. good. It was funny. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah. I liked that a lot. All right. <laughs> it was something. <laughs> you guys are going back to that old lady. Yes, hi. I'm I'm looking to procure a a b- uh, bag of holding, a a health potion or three. I have healing potions. Yes. Mm-hmm. Not sure you're a big strong man. Oh, I thank you. Very kind of you. She starts like she starts like trying to grab your muscles. <laughs> I have no idea why you're doing this, but... but she this, finds you to be one, attractive. Not something I'm familiar with. What does that mean? <laughs> Just keep doing what you're doing. I see. I have five potions of healing at the moment. Mm, wink, wink. Nudge, uh, nudge. I see. All right. Well, I am looking to at least get... Three. How much are they going for? Uh, they're going for uh, sixty gold pieces. Is what I is what I'm currently charging. Oh, I see. Is is there any way I could get a small discount? Hmm, maybe if you would come and see me and canoodle a little, maybe <laughs> we could work something out. Revan, what does canoodle mean? <laughs> How does your Raven Queen feel about extra special friends. <laughs> Dude, that is the perfect way to describe it, too. That's awesome. Fritz and Grin, episode six. The boy becomes man. <laughs> the, the boy is about to meet Svel. Oh, the man. Raven Queen would be very pleased for friends. Yes, I believe we could do something of this sort. Mm, I suppose if you would like to canoodle with me for a while, I could let them go for 40 apiece. Say would yes, be, say yes. Say <laughs> would perhaps 35. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh. oh, that wouldn't be worth it to me. I could always canoodle with the homeless man down the street for 35. Just take the 40. Just take the 40. <laughs> Just take the 40. I'm saying this right in his ear. The bird starts pecking at your head. Would I'm you gonna like keep to, telling him. Would you like to come? Come. Yeah. I mean, it'll be forty gold pieces, and you you come back with me for a little while. You make some thick in the warm. It'll be that, nice. That is literally twenty gold off of each. That is a great discount. <laughs> I believe we could do that then. My my friend here does not wish me to ask for any other favors. Like there maybe will, casting friends. There will be other... I'll cast friends. I, I was whispering in your ear. You didn't have to tell her what I was saying. No, I didn't say anything. <laughs> but I would like to cast friends. And uh, Are you sure we couldn't go to 20? <laughs> 30, I mean, not 20. <laughs> so oh, and, you're, and you're casting friends? I'm casting friends. Let me put that in the chat. 
I didn't realize how strongly you were going to banter for some money. This is very proud. So proud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud right now. This is just, just incredible. Yeah, I mean, you 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 could cast friends on her. Well, or you could cast friends, and you'd have a advantage on charisma checks directed at one creature of your choice that isn't currently hostile to you. So you yeah, I'll so in a minute if you know what I'm saying. I, I, yeah. <laughs> I think that's the thing she's ever had. <laughs> um, give me a you. um. So what, what? Now that you've cast friends upon her. And you, you've you've indicated that you're interested in canoodling. Give me give me a persuasion, uh, give me a persuasion check, and you will have advantage on that. So that works out pretty well. Twenty one. Uh, damn. He's like, you know, I'll be taking a loss, but if you last you longer think- than a minute, this could go all <laughs> south. <laughs> if you last longer south. than a minute, he's he, he has no idea what he's doing. He's <laughs> hey, we don't know. Asking him to last longer than a minute is a little. Yeah, we don't know. He could Barry could be a freaking like superstar for all we know. <laughs> I mean, who knows what the Raven <clears throat> Queen called him? He goes around asking for friends, not more, just friends. Maybe that's out of respect. You don't know that. You don't I know respect, his life. Not, I respect not a, women. He you know, respects everybody equally. I'll be taking a loss, but yeah, come on, let's let's go canoodle for a while, and then um, yeah, twenty gold pieces will do it. I, like whisper, I whisper in his ear, I'm like, you bet you're 20. Quick. Okay. <laughs> so we get all five. Sure, yeah. For a for, for hundred oh, shit. And a little canoodling. Deal. Would you like me to roll performance? <laughs> <laughs> um, that was the greatest question I've ever heard. You know what? <laughs> yes, I would like you definitely to roll performance. <laughs> I love that. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, yes. Wait, 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 okay, so about 45 seconds into your great performance, she does, I mean, she's like, she's pretty old. And she kind of like, like at first she's really enjoying herself, but then she seems like really kind of like irritated. <laughs> And she's like, "All right." She's like, "You know, you're you're doing this really well. Let's let's, let's finish up." <laughs> wait, 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 wait! No, 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 no! You wait. cannot. Even if friends wears off a natural twenty, there is no way she's angry after that. Oh Nobody no! This is, is this is this is why she hasn't tried to pull his eyes out. <laughs> she's just like, this is the greatest lay of all time. <laughs> Which is why she's not trying to kill him, but she is now. She's just like. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> right? Just <laughs> random She's like, I'm enjoying this a lot. What am I wait, doing with my wait, life? Wait, you are wait, so wait, wait. good. Can we pause? <laughs> Is Rabin able to hear all of this? Uh, um, if, if I can hear it, I'm pretending I don't. Yeah, you can absolutely hear the the, no, the noises being made. I don't hear anything. I don't know what song. you're talking about. I'm what just having, what you're doing. I'm having a conversation with Onyx right now about okay. the, the finest things in life. Like my my okay. bird is outside of the sky. Tent. Yeah, me. I'm, I, 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 no, I have... your bird is right there watching. <laughs> Part of the performance, I, I added it. In. They call it the birds and the bees <laughs> for a reason, apparently. Oh my god! So wow. once things once things have culminated. Dude, three hours and 51 minutes ago, if you told me that this shit was about to happen, (laughs) I'll call you a liar. (laughs) Actually, I'm going to keep it real with you. If you told me this shit was going to happen, I'd believe you. I just would have called you called bullshit on that nat 20. I would have told you he's going to fuck up and he's going to get murdered by some town's guard. And I'm going to pretend that I didn't know he was there. (laughs) All right, awesome. so she thanks you. For, she thanks you for your time, and she she gives your cheek a little caress, but also like it, it seems a like slap. a little firm, like almost a slap. All right, I'll, and she I'll says, "Yep, it. all right, yeah, just um, let's go back up front. Uh, I'll get, I'll prepare those potions for you." He, How just shelved his berry and look when he comes outside? <laughs> uh, he's not 
too disheveled. I mean, his hair is pretty messed up. I'm, you're, but he, natural he, twenty, and you're not too disheveled. Mm. No, him. He's he's a very composed man. This is this is just part of making friends. Uh, <laughs> his hair is messed up, but he comes out looking a lot happier than he was before. Like that was, that was a, a very interesting cultural exchange. I'm, <laughs> I feel much more knowledgeable about many things now. Barian, Barian, <laughs> listen to me. When we get back to the inn, I need you to say that exact thing, word for word, when you tell the others what just happened. <laughs> oh boy. And if you possible, I would like with, for you to sit with Echoes and give the story in great detail. <laughs> oh. I'm going to, um... <laughs> if I had known that things were going to go this way, I, I would I would have done this I would have done this a little earlier, but I'm gonna go ahead and put her um <laughs> I mean this is the way I pictured her in my head. Oh no. I mean she she's she's just an older lady. Oh. So it's like uh yeah, I mean it's like Carol Kane Princess Bride, you know, it's like uh, <laughs> oh, no <sighs> But I mean Barry and you had a good time though. I mean like you know, she knows what she's doing. He, he enjoyed on. himself, yeah. Yeah. What? God, I have a panther, but you went for a cougar. <laughs> Lays in bed, removes dentures. The end result is... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Five, but, um, five shop, healing potions. Shop's closed now. <laughs> Breaks, so he get five for <laughs> Breaks hip. Yeah, so, yeah, he got five yeah. for 100. That's insane. Yeah, so she gives you, she gives you a, a, a small box with five vials in it. Um, the box is made out of like cheap wood. It's not like a really nice box, but um, you know it's a box. Um, she takes your hundred gold pieces and she says, mm -mm, "Maybe you better leave now." And she does seem a little irritated. She seems a little irritated, possibly at. That's fair. Of course, uh, as you wish. Have a nice day. Have fun storming the castle. <laughs> <laughs> So wait, she's irritated because friends wore off? Is that... Well, she, it's because he used friends to begin with. Yeah, right. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I and mean, it... if it wasn't for the great performance check, like, she possibly would have tried to attack him. <laughs> Fair or enough. something. But, like, that, that the performance easy. check was on point. She was just like, oh, my God. Like I said, she's like, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> yeah, I get that. That's like, that's funny. That That, that is... The best episode so far. <laughs> I, I, I like to imagine that the episode ends with them coming back and him like sitting us down and then telling us exactly what <laughs> happened, and that's like what uh, it fades out on. How culturally familiar are you with the Isle of Children? <laughs> <laughs> Shit this gets is, bonkers. This is where Echoes dies. Listen, guys, guys, we have a story for you. You're not gonna believe this shit. Varian. What's the crate? Vod for Vod. What did I say? <laughs> what did you say? I, I am much more knowledgeable about cultural aspects of this area. <laughs> what do you mean by that? But remember how gold or health potions are only well, they cost about sixty gold regularly. Yeah. Um, there's a act called what was it? Canoodling <laughs> that brings the price down very drastically. <laughs> He can do this with he can do this with the shopkeep, and he got the discount. Didn't well, you so, say she was an old lady, Reben? I did say she was an old lady. I stare at him with mild perplexment. I Listen, look at the box, she, at Reben, and then at Barry, and then just repeat. She if you she offered she offered to take off twenty gold per vial of. He, uh, for for healing potion. No, twenty go, twenty no, per. Wasn't twenty it? per. Yes, that's what I just said. That was the initial. And then and then our boy here and I wrap my arm around Barry and Barry <laughs> proud. I'm like a proud father right now. He got it down even further to forty. Wait, so <clears throat> it was twenty gold per per healing potion for a total of five to a hundred gold. Barry is the ladies' man, and you're not. I just, I was sick and tired of that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Varian, if you were into your older women, why didn't you just ask Echoes? I'm sure <laughs> his mom could have you could hook you up there. I mean, there was that nice oh lady who gave us a quest. Zeph is a I... fucking your mom joke. In <laughs> e Echoes is just like perplexed as hell right now, and he just... Are... 
Is no one else? Is everyone you, okay with this? If you told me, if you told me three and a half hours ago that there was gonna be a your mom <laughs> joke from Aiku, I would have told you you were lying. No, I mean after that, me building one potion seems completely <laughs> insignificant. I think you should still make a potion so that we have six instead of five. <clears throat> oh yeah, speaking sure. of which, yeah. here's the room key to your room. It smells nice. Have fun, and then I run into my room. And then I look at both of them and like, well, we're roommates, so you must tell me the details. <laughs> Awesome. I think we'll end it there. Yeah, yeah, that's the perfect place to end it. I, I'm gonna give everybody. I, I will have like I'll have like a little menu of things you can do with your character points uh, by next uh, by next session. Cool. But I'm gonna give everybody three character points, with the exception of um, Echo. So I'm gonna give five, and I'm giving Barian seven. Nice. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> For what making the friends. I think altogether the people who haven't gotten extra should be at eight character at, points. Oh wait, were we? Do we get any before? I never I'm got at, extra. I'm I at ten extra? right now with the five yeah, extra. Yeah, so yeah. No, no one's gotten extra yet. Yeah, but, this um, is the first definitely example. Definitely some extra. Yeah, yeah. Today, so, definitely some extra. Before this, before we add on today's, how many was I supposed to have? Five, and then you just got five, so you should have ten now. Okay. And okay. then myself, uh, Zeskiel, and Rebin should have eight. And then Barian should have twelve. Seven plus five. Yeah. Twelve. Well, okay, I'll I'll take it. I, my numbers were wrong, I guess. Yeah. How many character points did it said you have? I think I, when I looked at it first, it looked like it said I had two. Yeah, we had gotten. Uh, oh, you you were gone. We had gotten one. two one time, and then three the next. Hmm. So I should be at ten then. No, you should. No, be because you just got seven. You were at five, and then you got seven. You should be. Well, you should okay. have been at five. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yep. I'll, I'll trust you guys. I'll take the higher number. Yeah, shut up, slut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are, you are now our... Uh... <laughs> You're now our slut. If it gives me something I need, <laughs> it's really just payment. I love how he's like, I'm really good at talking with people. Yep. They the old lady. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are going to go... Uh, we've finished the episode. We are going to go film our post discussion for about 10-15 minutes. That can be found on Patreon. It's just a dollar for all bonus content. Uh, Patreon.com slash crits and grins. Um, thank you guys so much for joining us. This will be a fun episode to talk about. Um, and we will be back. Uh, I, I don't think we have any obligations next Sunday, so I think everyone will be back. Uh, see. Yeah, cool. Uh, we'll figure it out and we'll let you guys know, but I'm pretty sure. Um, everybody have a great night. We'll be back next week.